and welcome back to the Metro Ball Grid. My name is Andre. Thanks so much for tuning in. How is everyone doing today? It is September 19th, 2019. 91919. What does it mean? What does it mean? How's everyone doing? I hope you're doing all right. Uh, I just want to do some bookkeeping right off the top. Firstly, yo, Anthony Pearson, how's it going? World's prep tonight? Almost, uh, no, not exactly. If we make something that's super competitive and has a chance of winning Worlds, then we'll say yes, but uh, not actually, how's it going though? A uh, couple things off the top, not feeling the best, uh, just like as a person, so be a bit more chill tonight. And But probably more importantly, there will be no stream next week on Thursday. Uh, we're not gonna be here next week, so we'll do a we'll do like another cover day someday on um, probably a weekend. Like we'll try and do a longer stream. Um, maybe that's just a good way for me to plug the idea of like subscribing and following this channel, so you get a notification when and if we go live or if a vod appears at some point. Um, so that's largely it. We're gonna be playing some Netrunner tonight. We got a deck list of the week. This is Timmy Soros's Rex's. This is Le Professionnel. It is a Gabe Santiago list. Pretty standard stuff. I don't think anything too flashy, but it's always fun to run HQ, isn't it? Hey, Maddie, how's it going? Baza, happy Thursday. Uh, Maddie and the sweater, amazing. Where'd you get it? I found the sweater in Maddie's closet. She bought it. It has corgis in a Japanese convenience store, and she never wore it. So it's mine. Great, it feels like you were just on. Just on, how's it going, David? Yo, bad dude, how you doing? Welcome. I don't recognize that name. How you doing? Jessica, oh, you have a sore throat? No, not so much, actually. It's kind of more like up here, like in here. My throat's okay. I'm just kind of speaking. I got it a bit strangely. This is my game deck. Oh, fuck yeah, welcome. <laughs> Looks better on you, thank you. All right, I'm excited to try it out. Uh, cool things are going on here. Well, we got some breakers. We have some special orders to find it. Cards that I'm excited about playing in this uh, in this list specifically. I think um, uh, fucking leave no trace is insanely good. This is your your pressure for the remote game. I'm assuming you can also use leave no trace with en passant, which is going to be a line of play. We're going to fail to see it probably at least once, which is kind of really cool. I love three kind inside job. We do have a single hostage, which gives us the chance of either getting our film critic or John Masanori. Now, mind you, Masanori is a bit of a liability in a meta where you have border control. Uh, this isn't a tag me deck. We actually all of our multi axis is dependent on us not having tags, so it can be a bit close. Uh, it can be maybe a bit hard to close the game off if we don't. Uh, um, if, if we lose a thing. We do have Bezels is pretty cool and Cuban honestly one of my favorite one influence cards in a very aggressive deck. I think the deck list or the write-up specifically says and mind you uh, bad dude is in chat right now um, says that this is like very much like a parasite and that kind of is the point. Uh, once you get this going you're breaking ice for free sometimes for like for, yeah, free. Sometimes you're making money, so they really want to trash this, which is really cool. Um, on top of this, I'd love to see, I think Amakua probably makes a lot of sense in this deck. We're doing Abagnale, Bugalter, Corroder. Abagnale, not so flashy on its own. It struggles with some code gates. Uh, this is no Amina. Amina is a bit more expensive, maybe not as aggressive, but even just getting some Amakuas in here with Cubot would probably be pretty cute. Hey, all happy Thursday, and Phil, I see Phil too. How's it going, Janktivist? How you doing? Yeah, hey, yo, Phil, what's up? How's it going as well? Hey yo, Functor Points, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're all having a good Thursday. We're gonna try out this decklist of the week, play some aggressive game, and from there, we're gonna be building something, largely an idea I talked about last week, and we're gonna try and make it work, and it's gonna be kind of a more ridiculous deck, and I actually think it might be not the worst. We do have Emergency Shutdown on Passant. Emergency Shutdown also works with on Passant. That's really strong. Really, 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 really strong. Um, 45 cards, let's go. So this deck, and you've seen this before on the channel when we played a great aggressive um, criminal, one of his biggest weaknesses, if you play against any sort of like HBI deck that puts like three ice or two ice on every central server, at that point, we actually have a bit better legs than the Amakua based decks that generally struggle in that because we need to get the counters because we do have real breakers. Uh, in that sort of matchup, the best thing we could do is maybe get a Caddy Jones in this deck. I'm aware that that makes a deck a lot slower and this is meant to be more of an aggressive deck, but in that case where they ice up everything, I think Caddy Jones and Lee no trace is probably good enough so it's not that hard to pit, to like pivot this deck to uh to a meta that maybe doesn't let you get in too easily all the time because sec, sec testing and john masonary we're expecting to get in a fair bit uh what is this uh, i don't know if that's correct spelling but that's the double n okay but that's uh gabriel santiago consummate 
Kind of want to go up to three Q bands and cut a turning wheel because it's so good to get in Corpse of Trash Ice. I think the Q bands are really cool, but I'm really worried about playing a deck that doesn't have a lot of multi axis. Generally, we want to be able to close games as opposed to like giving them time. So I don't want to cut a multi axis card for that. I'd be very worried about that. Uh, I don't know what else we could cut. The Film Critic is cute as one one influence uh, restricted card, and that's actually pretty good against a, a fair bit of things. We're pretty weak to SDS drone deployment. Uh, even just like Obakata is kind of difficult in Criminal. Having a great Thursday because it's going to be Friday tomorrow. Tell me about it. Hey, single pate. I don't got too strong weekend plans. Plinks Markham Horror. Yo, real quick. If anybody cares about Arkham Horror, maybe you're watching the VOD. Um, what I highly recommend if you want to watch something, go onto your Netflix. I'm assuming they have this in America too. And find a show called Marianne. Marianne, one word, M-A-R-I. Don't watch the trailer because I think the trailer is actually pretty not good. But if you care about Arkham Horror, check this out. It's actually like surprisingly really good. I've been really enjoying it. Yo, Jogging, how's it going? Hey, all caps. How you doing, man? All right. So let's see what kind of deck they're playing. It is Cybernetics Division. Wow. Okay. So Cybernetics Division, that's HB. That's a weird HB. We're going to play with little hand size. Uh, generally, the biggest struggle of Cybernetics Division is actually just getting money. Uh, we do have to respect some of the scary face check ice. I don't know if there's any sentries in the game that give you brain damage un like unconditional besides like what brainstorm. They just disconnected. Uh, besides brainstorm and maybe one of the next ice. So we have to watch out for that. They did disconnect though. I think we would have mulligan this hand. We have opening economy hostage is okay, but we want to open with a diversion or something or an embezzle to go. Yo, Rob, how's it going? Don't run into next diamond, Jessica. You know that's just what we do around here. If they have whatever nine credits they have, we just run next diamond. And that's how the games start. It's a good way to start. So they disconnected. I think we're going to give them 30 seconds before we jump into another deck. Cyber next division, I've really never... I don't know. It's always hard to make this thing work. Next time is great brain damage ice. Yeah, I so think the next ice actually scales pretty well. Um, next diamond, next gold is not too bad whatsoever. I've been like surprised how good the next decks are. They just joined as a spectator. I don't know you could do that. Maybe they'll come back. I've been tempted to keep the decoder. The decoder is really cool for what? Fairchild's early. I don't think there's any brain damage code gates in the early game, is there? I think all the next scary next dice besides like Opal is all sentries. I suddenly started face planting so much into diamond lately. I have no idea why. It's been hilarious. Yeah, welcome to the club. We do that every time we play against an HP deck. Oh, yeah, they're back. Fuck yeah. As we just face plant into, uh, into next stuff usually has to be an x design though i'm assuming this is urban renewal spam yeah this has generally been with the most competitive next design deck but i i don't think that deck or seven next division deck excuse me i don't really know if that deck is particularly that fun i think that's also probably better just out of either ids you can't click through fc3 oh with the elp yeah we have no currents but that's generally not the biggest deal hello we have no currents. In theory, we could swap like Film Critic for some currents, but we're not installing that much stuff. This is not like a lot of resources. We don't even have Pad Tab, which is honestly one of my favorite criminal cards. Uh, if you haven't checked out, check out the Winnipeg Regionals. Um, that were they're on on Twitch. Fuck, what's the channel? I watched a whole bunch of them. I think we can find them. But uh, there is a player who is playing a really cool, and I think we talked about this before on the channel. The idea of playing Pad Tab with like. Uh, Things that make it harder to trash, like dummy box, actually works. Uh, wireless net pavilion doesn't work preventing the trash of the pad tap, but it does prevent the trash of the dummy box, which is really cool. And they played like a Tag Me Liza game, which is really cool. Uh, you can find that. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to, to find it. If we search Netrunner, it might show up. Hmm, no, that's us. Yeah, check out Winnipeg Netrunner. The whole regional is up there. Jane, wake the fuck out. It's all good. All right, that's weird. Okay, so I, I, honestly, not the worst hand. I think for like early aggression, we just want like what sec testing. We're not mulliganing to Amakua. I think Bagalter is okay. This hand's honestly not the worst. I think the best thing we could draw also is a uh, class act to some extent. But we can always hostage class act. That's another connection. Ah, we can keep this. It's fine. Best of luck. Have fun. Now they. 
I don't know if they mulligan. They kept their hand. One of the best things they can have against Gabe is HQ Ice on turn one. Again, if we run HQ, we gain two credits. That just kind of snowballs out of control. Uh oh. JNAP has been extra buggy lately. Ah, beans. I know they just like reset the server about like an hour ago. It went down to like zero games. So we'll see. Apparently, I zoomed in too much. Ah, uh, beans. Enforce curfew? Yeah, you could do enforce curfew. The thing is, like, there's not much that kills at three damage. It's just like urban renewal. Uh, urban renewal and force curfew is definitely a thing, and we can't really play around that. We just have to trash it. I think we can just hold three inside jobs for that special privilege. We also have to play around snare. Uh, a lot of times snare shows up in this when they like whittle your hand down. I've never seen anybody play the next uh, agenda. There's a next agenda that does brain damage if there's a res next ice. I think it's a 4-2. Uh, they disconnected. I think we might bail on this. This doesn't seem to be going our way, but maybe all of JNS like that. There's 17 games right now, actually. It's a fair bit. Worlds is coming up. People are preparing for that. If you want to maybe look at what the world's meta could maybe look like, there was the Nisei uh, standard tournament last weekend. The finals are this weekend. The top cut, I think it's on Sunday. Uh, and you can see the deck lists. Uh, I just wa looked through them before the stream started. There's like a fair bit of Polina, Argus. Um, eh, no real surprises I saw. Hey, David, how's it going? I'm playing you in this game. Is it working on your side? Stop looking at my hand. What are you doing? <laughs> Jane is looking at hardcore, so you have to leave. Sorry, dude. Hey, no worries. Uh, I appreciate the, the the try for coming here for saying it. It's, it's no big deal. That's Dender Genio. I'm going to give another shot. My friend hit me with the next wave two damage the other day. I completely forgot what his card. Yeah, it's a 4 2. And it's so wild. It's like, I don't know why that was printed. Do they expect you to be running the next ice with a brain damage deck? I guess to some extent that does make sense. Some of the next ice does net or brain damage. Oh yeah, I see that kind of goofed up, huh? Um, but it's not good like next silver, but I guess you just want next silver. Are you going to Worlds? How's it going, Sarknar? I am not. It is incredibly far away and expensive to get to. I guess incredibly is not the right term, but uh, it's just, it's it's a bit expensive. Self-destruct chips is also pretty cool. Yo, I honestly think large parts of this game might be blown open really soon. Uh, when it comes to like agenda choices of agendas, the big issue right now is I'm like so nervous of running any agenda suite that isn't all like three pointers or two and three pointers on the basis of like the fact that turntable exists. I think turntable is really cool as an exciting card. I, I feel like it's a kind of identity, kind of like Film Critic, that maybe would be more fun if it only fired once per game, like it was a resource or something that trashed itself. Uh, fuck it, make it a current, I don't know. Um, but yeah, with Turntable out of the game when it rotates real soon, like it's not that, it's not, you can you can start you can start playing one-pointers a lot more, which is pretty great. Very far from Australia. Next Wave 2 actually didn't make any sense at the time, because next time it wasn't out and didn't appear for a while later. Oh, I for totally forgot about that. I wonder if it didn't come out at the same time as Silver. Beckett is going, Team Beckett. I think I watched Beckett recently on stream. Okay, this is a big deal. This is the outfit. Outfit has money. They generally want to kill us. Uh, there's a couple versions of this sort of deck I've seen. A lot of them, though, are hard-hitting news based. We have no strong tag prevention. We do have the security testing to ensure we have money, and we do have the opening money in our hand, which is pretty sweet. I think we could keep this. Ideally, I think the best opening hand is money plus, your, uh, plus like Croder. If they open with um, like a hostile takeover, it's kind of bad for them because we can run HQ. So I think they have to ice up. Next diamond is Katara. I honestly have got really bad at figuring out what comes from what. It's been a minute. Okay, this could be Afshar. I think no matter what, we're going to have to force them to, to run it. We could, for what it's worth, like leave no trace HQ and then on passant it. I think that's actually right. So this says they can res the ice. When the run ends, the ice is de -res. So a lot of times they just don't res it, and then we can just on pass on it. That means they're down one ice. Dedication ceremony. That's interesting. That probably means uh, reverse account. And hey, 
that's a two card combo to get rid of an ice. They're definitely going to be looking for another one. Draw, draw. I don't know if they have anything yet. They did find it. We can put the sec testing on our archives. I don't think there's anything that kills us for net damage if unless they play something really strange. Uh, archives. We're going to run HQ again. Force them to res something. Then maybe R&D will be wide open. Looks like this one's open too. Hardening news. Okay, no surprises there. Uh, I think we can draw again, and we can dirty laundry into archives. Worst case scenario here is if we hit an agenda that we have to steal, but we still have more money, so we're not going to die to punitive. Unless they have like double punitive, but I think we have enough money. Oh, we don't even access. Never mind. Wait, dirty laundry didn't fire. Yeah, that's a bug. Huh? What happened there? So we start with 9, so that's 10, 11. This should be 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's really weird. Yeah, laundry's bug with sex testing right now? Okay, that's good to know. Leaving a trace on Passant, that's cool. City Works too? Oh yeah, that's actually probably for City Works. How's it going, Riot? I think that makes more sense. That's a hostel giving us bad pubs. So now they can res uh, a fair bit of ice. This could be Archer, which is not that bad right now. Uh, we want to de-res it. It could be Bulwark, which is honestly fine. Uh, it could be... Uh, the one that's really bad is the Trace one that trashes installed card, Trebuchet. That'd be kind of bad, but we have two bad pub. Maybe that's good. Should keep on to HQ ice and face checking into it. That's only if we go through it, though. And there's some ice that I don't think we want to cube on. Like if it's a border control, that seems rough. You're right though, because we pass it. I don't know how to play it. How's it going, Kriyu? I also didn't say hi, Riot or Jim. How you doing? So I think they definitely res at 14, unless it's like a, an, uh, what's it called? Unless it's an archer, I think they always res here. We die to some stuff. Wow, no res. Too big to fail. We can trash that for four credits. I think we'd rather have the bad pub and they can't play it. I think we can just hostage for our uh, our draw card. That'd be pretty good. Film Critic might actually matter in this matchup. Um, we haven't drawn yet, so I think we're gonna run archives to get two credits and then we'll play our hostage to get our um, a card with Andromeda on it that helps us draw. I think the class act is gonna be the best here. And because we didn't draw this turn, we're actually gonna get the filter draw here. Choose one card of the bottom stack, so we don't need another class act. Everything else is fantastic. We have all our breakers, we're good to go. So nervous with you running with few cards in hand. We died a snare. That's the only thing. That's for sure. We died a snare. All right. So we don't have film critic for this one. Uh, wow. They used a lot of cards on that though, which is okay. Um, we can put this on archives. I honestly don't think that's that bad. So if we want to steal this, it's eight damage. It seems hard. Let's draw once for film critic. We get a filter draw. Okay. We'll take a, I think we might have enough money. I like the inside job a fair bit, but we have two breakers. Yeah, I'll take the gamble. So we'll run HQ. There she's been theorycrafting old Hollywood grid decks in all colors of the friend since your last stream. How's that going? Old Hollywood grid's fun. I will trash Rashida for bad pub. I don't know if we need more money. We could draw once and steal it, but then we're weak to punitive. Obviously, we don't want to do that. I feel like we just want to draw into film critic. No, we need the special order. Coupon is probably the worst card in our hand right now. We already got our value job. We'll just take two more credits. They're on game point. They can score that. They can jam. We're only weak to code gates. Uh, there's no bad pub giving code gate besides like the one that traces you, which isn't particularly compelling. So we'll draw once for like an on or something. And Bez will be good here. We got a Cuban. Yeah, okay, we'll take it. So now if they don't res, we get four credits. So we might actually just run here twice to get in six credits. Rank top of R&D is okay too. They drew a fair bit. That's the bulwark. There you go. Okay, so there's the money. So this runner trash is one program. <laughs> That's the bad one. So we're losing a Cuban, which is okay. And then they gain two credits. They only res this for seven. So we lost a Cuban, which is okay. All right, so we don't want to show that we have a Corroder. I think we actually just draw here. Oh, fuck, we already drew that turn. That was stupid. We know they have a too big to fail, so that's what's going to be played that turn. 
Uh, special order is honestly pretty sweet because we need to get our Kogate break attention. I think we're actually going to throw out the Q-Bomb, which doesn't feel great. We shouldn't have drawn there. I forgot that we drew already and we got a class act draw. I wanted to get that value draw because it's definitely worth trying to get every turn. It's worth knowing as soon as we special order, we fuck it up. Like we fuck up our draw. Uh, they're setting up. So how much... Yeah, that sucks. Uh, how much is it to get through this? We have two bad publicity, three bad publicity. To get up to strength, it's five. Wow. Eight. So that's three. We get two back. Do we blind embezzle here? Yeah, we do. We do. Uh, we do. Uh, we just say uh, operation because we know they have a hard ending news. So we hit, S there's a drone deployment in there. We have a too big to fail. Wow, that's actually a big reason to keep around a Cuban is a drone deployment. This is going to be really rough for us. So we need to draw into, um, emergency shutdown on this thing is okay. Uh, Abignail is a program, which is probably better because they have the drone deployment. So I think we can take the emergency shutdown. I think we need the Abignail. We'll just draw once more. Inside job's good too. So before we start face checking, we really need a sentry breaker. Luckily we have it. Begalter, the training wheel, that's a Rashida. Uh, Begalter's another sentry breaker. This is obviously like our win condition, but it's important that we have as many redundant programs as we can. So again, we have three bad publicity. I think we run this. They have more money than us. I see this is real bad. We have no recursion. Yeah, we don't. We just have extra copies. So we can trash this for free. And I think we'll go archives for two credits. We've already got our draw. So that's why we have extra redundant programs. And we also have film critic for sure. We just need to find it. And we've used our single hostage. So I just want to check with, with three bad publicity. This thing is five to boost, three to go through there. So it's eight. So we save five credits, so it's three. It's not the best, but we really want to get like a diversion of funds, which we did find. So we can diversion of funds here. It's not the most exciting play. It's really not even that great, I don't think. It slows them down a small bit. It really isn't fantastic. We probably should be just drawing. I don't really know if we need these two credits from the sec testing. It's probably a bit too slow. If they score, they win anyways, yeah. I'm loving Film Critic and Az. It's an absurd card. I honestly don't understand Az. I think Az needs a lot more support before it's compelling. I just don't see any reason to play Az. Okay. Obviously, this is a problem. Uh, especially because we're going to lose our programs to damage. Like, that's the biggest issue. Uh, we definitely draw ones. Diversion of funds or embezzle. I like the embezzle a bit better. So I think we just play this and we, like, inside job it. We're going to lose. I think we draw this. Fuck it, we could just leave no trace, honestly. It's probably better. It probably saves us more money than inside job. Leave no trace is a disgusting card. And we're gonna take four damage. Uh, so we die to punitives. We're fucked. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we're, we're real bad. This is real bad. So it's between these two. Inside job, they have to res ice. This, they don't res ice, and we lose the two punitives. This, they don't res ice, we lose the two punitives anyways. So they're going to have 18 credits. We have to take four damage. We could also just run manually. And then they're more interested. I think we actually just run. Well, it doesn't really matter, because this does four damage. This does four damage, so we died a single punitive anyways. The chance is whether or not they have two punitives. Yeah, so I was gonna ask, how did the thing on Monday go, Jessica? So it's either leaving a trace or inside job. I oh, will do inside job. They're more likely to res something here. We just want them to spend a bit of money. Gonna be border anyways. Oh yeah, you're totally right. If it's a border, we lose. Ah, uh, GG. That sucked. <laughs> that was like so basic netrunner. I don't think we did anything. But that's the thing is like we don't have pressure for centrals besides HQ and like a single bulwark. I guess we have to emergency shut down it. But what was the other card we drew at the time? It seemed much more important. They had another agenda in hand. Yeah, that's totally the point. Border control is such a problem. Fuck. Hey, you too.
Yeah, we probably just needed to draw more aggressively. I think going archives to get the two credits over and over again really didn't matter. And we had to run that server twice, and so it basically came down to film critic, and we're not going to have multi-access. That's a bummer. Let's try that again, though. I loved it. Won a game with each ID, which was my aim. I went 2-4 overall on a person I was amazing. Everyone treated me as a woman. Oh, hell yeah. It was just a GNK, I take it? Or just like organized play? That's fantastic. Yeah, that last part's super cool. Yeah, I'm glad. Like, that's the thing. I know it's, 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 for many reasons, like, it can be pretty stressful to go out into public to play, uh, to play the Netrunner, but like, I don't know, at least for the huge, huge, huge majority of people I know who have been playing Netrunner, like, the communities are really great. Um, everyone's just excited that you're there. Like, the fact that somebody, especially this late in the, the, the existence of Netrunner comes out to play a game, like, sleeves up decks and shit. Yeah, it's so cool. Can't wait to do it again on the 28th. Here we go. This is how it starts. But that's, you know, like that's actually how it started with me. Like I owned a couple core sets. No, I owned a core set. I didn't even own double core sets. And then there was this like league of people doing, uh, playing every Sunday for points. And then there was a raffle at the end. And like, that... oh, we won that game. Ooh. They left right at the same time that we started. That's wild. Um, and like it just snowballs like you meet nice people then they're like come play some more and then you know it just keeps going it keeps going keeps going all right malice lumen yeah one of those three pieces of the engine sorry okay blue sun honestly kind of difficult Definitely pretty difficult. Uh, Blue Sun is one of those decks that can have big eyes on HQ, and like we can't go through Chiashi over and over again. The best card we have is uh, off, not only on Passant leaving a trace, but also Emergency Shutdown. Uh, this is the sort of deck also that could have Snake Door Beta. I don't understand actually why do we have a Gabe deck that doesn't have Snake Door Beta? Snake Door Beta is like a two credit install for Gabe and like adds so much value from running HQ. Like you can run HQ, sure you can embezzle diversion, but you can Emergency Shutdown from HQ, and that's a way to get an HQ to fix everything. I don't know. I think this is the first game deck I've ever seen that doesn't run uh, Sneak Door. Hey. Um, this hand has a hostage, has a film critic, doesn't have opening money. Uh, a lot of times the Blue Sun decks are on Punitive. Sometimes even they're on, uh, what's it called? Uh, Trojan Horse, which is pretty terrifying. And we do have the combo there. We open up to the multi axis. Also, doesn't have Amakua. How's it going, Cody? Yeah, no, it doesn't. It definitely doesn't. I'm glad in some ways that we don't rely on it because that's kind of been difficult. No Overstate AI. Hey, no Overstate AI. Uh, cause that's been like, not the best. They have six credits. I don't think there's actually really bad face checks here. It's, yeah, it's, uh, it's unusual. If you haven't seen old perfume shop decks, it's, pheromones isn't still in the game. So Afshar is the one bad face check here. So we lose two credits. That sucks. Uh, we could run R and D. It's hard for them to res two ice here. There's not much they can res at three credits. So we generally get in here and just get a turning wheel token. Uh, we could, in theory, die here. Maybe double punitive. Oh, it's a border control. That's good to know, at least. That's scary. And border control is another really good ice for them to put on HQ. And it ensures that we can't diversion. Ensures we can't embezzle. It's another good reason why sneak door into like. Yeah, maybe that's not that great. But like sneak door is another cool way to get around border control. You can shut it down sometimes if they don't have money. That doesn't sound very compelling, does it? I know. Ah, uh, we could have actually. Uh, we could consider ampassanting this. Film Critic's good. We want to get that down. They're probably on a punitive list. Not a perfect blue sun start here. Yeah, if we can actually keep them down and ensure that they can't get off an early, uh, what's it called? Uh, over CDI, that's super important. So one of the best things we could do here is either find a decoder or find inside job so that we can pressure HQ into the emergency shutdown if we can't break it. I honestly think just like taking the dirty laundry money not be the worst. Here they can res at six credits. They can res border control, horde, and mouse list. All that stuff would be really bad, especially last click. Because then we lose this as well. So I think we're actually just going to go Dirty Laundry Archives. Just basically easy mark. Cubana on Offshore is the hotness. You're right. It does help that a lot. The problem is that Cubana is terrible in Blue Sun. Because they just bounce the ice and you lose your Cuban. Like the Cuban is not going to do a lot in this matchup. The only thing it's going to do is if you Cuban unresed ice. And then for one turn sometimes you can get like that DDoS type effect. Where you keep going through it and get two credits if they're poor. But even then they can just like over install. That's a scarcity. That sucks. I honestly think we leave no trace here. We 
We just need to get this ice off of here. Build up some turning wheel ca counters. I don't know. They might not res here. If we can't, we can on it. They could probably just res. Like if it's a ha more, a ha I don't actually know. Maybe you don't res. Maybe you really don't res here. You just lose the ice. Yeah, you probably don't res for value. But you don't lose it. It just gets de-resed. So we're going to on on that for sure. Don't die to snare. That's an Orion. Okay, so that's the first building blocks uh, trigger they have. Uh, we are super poor. We're just going to get another turning wheel token. Money's an issue too. There's not that many cards we can recover from. Also, Blue Sun's really good at stopping uh, security testing. This is going to be a really hard matchup. My first game on Monday, I got ruined by Scarcity. I had no currents and like 15 resources. Were you playing Shaper? Because <laughs> that's usually how it goes. That's either Border or Ryan. They have 13 credits. Uh, we're fucked. Uh, we are in a really bad spot. Bezel sweet. Don't have a decoder. Don't have a way to make money that doesn't involve running. Uh, this deck doesn't have enough economy. This deck is assuming that you're going to be able to run to get make money. And against Blue Sun, that has things like Orion and a lot of times like Chiashis. That's just not possible. I think this is a terrible matchup. Oh, yeah, as right. But Hushik. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, doesn't as like kind of get around scarcity? It's like half scarcity. It's like scarcity versus what's his name? Yeah, you see, they're just going to ice everything up. So it's really hard for us to get value. This is the sort of matchup where you, you're really glad to have Caddy Jones in your deck. Because then Caddy at least gives you an option out. We can't really afford this. Like, we play this, we go down to zero, and then we have a whole hand and nothing to do with it. Like, that's miserable. Like, we can't even play Gamble out of it. We really want to be able to class act and then Gamble. This deck is weak. Hey, how's it going, Tokies? Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely good for a certain matchup. Like, there's a certain meta where this is fantastic. But, like, a lot of people on Jane <laughs> ice up all centrals. That's always what happens when we play Criminal. Oh, wait, Asla class act cost six. I totally forgot. They do have the scarcity. Again, our best tricks are if they fuck up. Like, right now, if they fuck up. If we figure out a way to get through Afshar, we can uh, shut down the Chiashi. That's huge. Uh, that cost them a lot of credits, let alone it cost them an ice. So we we basically need to draw here perfectly an Abignail or an inside job, which there's five cards in 32, so we have a one in six. No. No, no good. So they're going to get that, which is 12 credits, which is, I think, the turning point where this game falls apart for us. Like, if we inside jobbed here, even Sneak Door puts on enough pressure, we would we would uh, shut that down. And shutting it down keeps the Overstate AI on there, which means it, uh, which means they can't bounce it. And then if they do res and then we do break it, they still lose it. So it ties up their money pretty well, but we didn't draw what we needed. And we have no way to make money. I don't know, chat. I don't know what we can do in this one. Like, we're going to be clicking for a lot of credits. We also don't have any like burst multi-access besides the turning wheel, uh, which gets shut down by border control, mind you. You can use border control after they've uh, they've decided to use turning wheel tokens, which is pretty potent. So again, we're just basically drawing into uh, shutdown. I mean, sorry, yeah, uh, into inside job. Excuse me. I don't know if this paragon's going to do enough. We actually don't need the MU. We can't afford it. We throw up both the paragons, but like this, we're not going to be running that much, are we? Oh, we can drag again. That's nice. Yeah, we might not keep this on for too long. Let's see how it goes. But if we uh, if we really can't get any momentum, we're basically going to be clicking for credits. I don't think we have any way to make money besides clicking for credits. Uh, diversion of funds is the other way, but they're pretty good against it. Like, as soon as they just put a Chiashi on HQ, yeah, sure, we can get them with the Overstate AI. But getting to that point, they're not they're not icing HQ enough. Like, I, I really think you want to ice HQ here. We were one card too late. We were one click too late to do inside job. For what it's worth, we can do inside job and get their whole hand. I think we have to, which is unfortunate. Like, we just have to do it. Because we can see their whole hand. They definitely have an agenda by now. It'll turn this off. It's not great. Like, ideally, we do this on the same turn that we shut down. And we can still steal SDS during deployment uh, because we can film critic it. Yeah, there you go. What? Uh huh. 
That ended the run. Oh! I said R&D. Okay, I hit the wrong button. Thank you. I didn't know you could do that. They changed that. That was awkward. It needs to be like a... They changed that, right? Yeah, how's it going, name? Hi, bro. How you doing? Oh, it's hi ho. They call me bro. So unfortunately, it just changes the order of access, which... Okay, that makes a lot of sense. All right, so they don't have a punitive, but it doesn't really matter because we didn't steal it. We could shut down the Afshar, but like, you know, value. The fact that we didn't steal it also keeps the current on, which is like the worst case. And I think we're just going to bank this. I don't know. So we know they have a DRM and we know they have a, what was the other card? I didn't keep notes. It was a DRM and then an Afshar, I think. Second Afshar. Looking for credits. This actually is a really strong card, but eh, this is maybe we do have some tech. Thing is, we just don't have a. Uh, DRM means you have to save up to remote run. Yeah, we don't have to save up. Sometimes we can just leave no trace it. I'm assuming there's a Chiashi on the remote. Another inside job would be sweet. Like, we have to play that, I guess. I don't know what we're doing. Like, there's some cards that we just can't throw at. I think we actually throw at the class act just because I don't know when we're going to turn it off. And I think Scarcity is just going to be on all game. I think I did install Class Act and click for 3 next turn. Class Act costs us 6. I don't know if we can do that. Yeah, Leave No Trace is super cool. Now, the only unadvanced card that they have... Whoa. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, if they have Trick or Light or not. Like, that's probably Rashida, which is, like, totally fine. Oh, this is right. This is rough. Jeff, how's up? You need to be able to differentiate between HQ and R&D because of divide and conquer. Ooh, you're right. That's really cool. So we know what we need to get through here. It'll cost us three credits to get through each Afshar, which sucks. Uh, we probably just want the Croder. I don't know. That's probably wrong, actually, because we want to throw in the, the shutdown. This probably should be an Abignail. We also shuffle our deck, which is bad if you play either Paragon or um, uh, Class Act. Not always bad, sometimes bad. I don't think Divergence are going to do a lot in this matchup. I played Divide and Conquer plus Turning Wheel early and stole six points at one go. Count it. Oh, fucking tech startup. What's this going to get them? So this thing can find any uh, asset, reveal it, and install it. It's not going to be installed during the end, uh, beginning of turn. It's Lady Liberty. So they can score out from hand. And then lost. Did you get punitive? They're advancing this ice up. It looks like they're just advancing up an Orion. Yeah, and actually advancing an Orion in this matchup is sweet because it plays around all the shutdown stuff, right? Because then they just res this for three credits. That's a really cool play. And so this Lady Liberty, we don't have to do anything now. We have to do any, something soon, though, because they're going to have agendas in hand, and we don't have any multi access besides this. Oh, that's an embarrassingly bad turn. They just advanced the IA in the remote. Oh, whoops. Lady Liberty up. Man, I like this card. Hey, Jim, what's up? It's a nice shout in Blue Sun because you can reset it. Yeah, we played this in Blue Sun, I think, when it came out, and we played this and Vanity, three pointers and Vanity, and you can win in two scores. I realize you're on YouTube now, Jim. Um, and it was pretty cool. The thing is, like, you don't really have to do anything quickly. And we know we have to just build up for a big run. Like, here, this could easily be board of control, which would be a problem. But, like, you want to set up for a legwork or some pressure on HQ. A problem is, it's not going to happen because we don't have any breakers. Psych testing doesn't seem pretty good in this matchup. Uh, we basically want to get to HQ. I, I really think this would have been better if it was an Abignail. Um, I think we have one special order, two Abignail, and 20 cards. Uh, Dirty Laundry is okay. It's probably better than Diversion. Actually, Diversion is good because it stops them from resing their expensive ass eyes. You have two or three breakers? Yeah, we do, but we know that the res, the only ice that we really care to get through now is the one res dice, which is the Afshar, so it's not going to be good go well enough and next turn they're going to try and score at lady liberty cool thing about lady liberty is it places the agenda to your score area it doesn't score it so sds drone deployment won't actually fire which is totally cool with us 
We won't lose one of these. Losing one of these would be disastrous. Put us so far behind. Pretty sure I would switch John Massonari for Caddy Jones in this in this deck. I really don't like John, and I feel like all the matchups that Caddy is good in, John is terrible in. So it kind of just normalizes it. DRM, really sick combo with Lady Liberty. Let's you pull it. It's not that much better than the fast track, but now they actually have to install card in a remote server. Which I don't know if they can do that. <laughs> what is this? They have to install a card in a remote server, so they did that one. I guess we check it. This is a Rashida that dies, right? It's a drudge work. Well, we have to trash that, I guess. So they're going to score out the SDS drone deployment from hand, which is honestly not that, that bad. And they get to reset the Lady Liberty after it. They get to bounce it to hand. So if we want to contest, we can contest this this turn. It's four to trash, let alone we have to get through like a Chiashi, something like that. We could leave no trace. If we hit Chiashi, it's like what? Six, seven, eight, nine. And then we can't trash this. So we can't even get through a single Chiashi. But they won't be able to res the Chiashi twice. I think it's a May. No, DRM, you have to. Oh, wow, you may. Oh, wow, okay, that makes that way better. I thought it was a, you have to. Obviously, it's still meaning, but three-pointer vanities lady live better now that DRM is imprinted. It's not that much better than, uh, well, yeah, I guess it's better to jam three-pointers, but it's not that much better than fast track, because you can just fast track Lady Liberty. And actually, like, that's a, there's a nombo here, because when they res Lady Liberty, you pressure HQ, and if you pressure HQ, you can't play DRM, so it actually, fast track might be better. There's a chance we leave no trace here. Just because it's really uncomfortable for them to uh, spend all the money. Yeah, fuck it. We'll try it. This might not be wrong. The thing is, like, if they res a Chiashi, we have to break it because we can't lose our hand. Our hand is way too good for the matchup. But they can't res a Chiashi twice. Yeah, I think they're actually, they've got better Baza with those May abilities just because this is something that you can't prove. Well, actually, no, you always can do this effect. You don't need a judge to, to be like, I can't do it because you always got the agenda. The only issue here is that if they do res the, the what's it called, the, the Chiashi, we're not going to have any money to trash this. But at least they'll spend 12. I feel like we're getting jammed up holding on cards. Yeah, well, we're not doing anything else. So it looks like we got through Chiashi, so now we can get through the border control. Uh, they can pop it. Which, if they pop it, it's pretty good for us, honestly. And so now they have ended the run. So if we run back, we hit the Chiashi, and they can res it. Uh, so we're not going to do that. I think we're just going to draw up, find something better. En passant, actually pretty good with the combo that we're talking about. Are you playing at Worlds announcing neither of those things? I'm not going to be in Europe at that time, unfortunately. I don't know if uh, Nisei has announced who's doing casting or for Worlds. I know they were looking for talent. All right, Lady Liberty is adding the three-point agenda. So now they can bounce this thing, which is totally fine with us. Uh, for what it's worth, we could just run this to see if they res a Chiashi, and if they don't, like we might want to run this. and then Because obviously this is an expensive ice. They consider resing it or not. And if they don't res it, we can just like en passant it, which is honestly okay. Um, for that play though, we need eight credits. If I'm not mistaken, it's like six, seven, nine credits to break fully. Wow, they actually could have hit us with the Chiashi. Oh no, we just let the end of the run fire, which is fine because we weren't going to go through anyways. I think we'll draw once. This is the worst card. <laughs> Good thing we got more of them. So if they score vanity here, we lose. If they have the vanity project in hand, which is a one influence agenda, we lose right there. And they could. Oh yeah, they did. They have it. Good game. So we have a chance of running here. Uh, they spent 12. So this is, they, they scored this from hand. This is what happened. But yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, is it possible? Would love to see everything. So I'm expecting this to be the Arai and this to be the Chiashi, this to be the other Afshar. And then I don't know what this stuff is. All right, so we called it perfectly correct. So Thimble Rig is still a problem. We can't get through that. And resing this gives them the ability to put it wherever they want. Uh, this was the Chiashi, which we called right. We called double Afshar right. Uh, and I think getting the Code Gate was actually 
Probably not as good as getting the Crowder. Just because we could face check Chiyashi. But like, it's so hard for us to make money off of this. They only fired one over state AI. And imagine we got the over state AI. Like, imagine we got into HQ and shut it down. They would be down way fewer credits. Ooh. Also, it's worth knowing they got pretty fortunate there. We cleared out the whole hand and then they drew three times and then they Lady Liberty and they got both agendas in a row. I guess they dug one of them, so they had to find this one. It's only five agendas. That's pretty cool, though. Oh, only five agendas, so it's government takeover as well. Fucking hell, it's crazy. This sort of deck's got a lot better with DRM, right? Like, you can play a few agendas. We had a chance of winning. We did. Run. See the government take over. But we really can't deal with any of these centrals, which is a problem. Like, we're meant to be able to make money off of HQ, and I guess with Cuban, it makes it easier, but Blue Sun's really good against Cuban because they just trash it. What's the theme of the core of the deck you're running? I missed the start of the stream. It's a deck list of the week. It's just like a, a, a HQ pressure... Um, sort of like these perfume shop decks that used to be very, very popular. And you have cool tricks like en passant into, um, or leave no trace en passant, stuff like that. So you can trash the mice. Yeah, I don't know. If we were really worried about this sort of matchup, I think you just cut the John Masanori and play... Um, uh, John Masanori, for what it's worth, in the matchups you're winning, does push you even further, which might not be necessary. Uh, but um, John Masanori with Paragon also is pretty cool. But you could just play Caddy, maybe. No. Nope. Uh, film Critic takes a restricted slot. That's the thing. is like As soon as you see Film Critic, you pr almost know that the criminal is playing no... Cur uh, 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 what's it called? Playing no currents because there's no good currents. That's such a problem. It's such a big problem that like the runner, the corp neutral current is fucking really good. actually for what it's worth in this matchup it really didn't matter. But it was is really 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 good. And then criminals has restricted currents. Anarchist has all the currents, and then shapers really don't either. All right, I think we're gonna go build the deck. It's only nine thirty. Wow, we got a lot of time to to play with the deck we're gonna build. So that's pretty cool. Hey, hey, cheers. All right, so that's five agendas. There's two outs. So there's only three agendas in the deck, and they had to have exactly the vanity. So I'm assuming it's like what vanity, vanity, this, this. Maybe it's only one vanity. I assume they do two. I'm assuming they're punitiving us. Okay, all right. Did you just uh, discount system seizure as a current? Yes, I did. I did discount system seizure. Uh, we're building runner, Rob. Uh, we're building runner. Let's open this in Chrome. System seizure's okay. Interdiction's okay. The thing is, like, usually card slots are better than that spot. I think system seizure gets better in certain decks, like things that are running Palangi, things that are running Gordian Blade, Kit, stuff like that, but it's not the first card I put in the Shaper deck. Louisville Meta has been pioneering a Swift Val deck. It's been I. That'd be cool. I'd be interested to see that. Your typing is amazing. Yeah, somewhere. How's it going? Own is cool. Hey, Andre, consider trying to at least casually get back in the game. What kind of cool Anarch stuff is there? Uh, Anarch has been pretty cool. Uh, just like constantly pretty, pretty cool. They're doing a lot, probably the same stuff they've been doing for a while now. Um, I'm going to build a deck right now that isn't Anarch, unfortunately. Uh, it could be... I'm not sure whether we're going to be... I think we're going to build Shaper first and then maybe try it in, in Adam. Uh, we've seen a lot of Apocalypse decks in Anarch lately. Uh, I think Alice, for some reason, is the most popular, but also Valencia, Max, all this stuff is good. I think Max is still really great. You're seeing Max, just like good stuff Max and like aggressive Max stuff as well. Uh, Anarch is still definitely doing the Anarch thing. I think Freedom, Freedom Kamalu is not only wildly interesting to play because you're you're doing with a bunch of different um, different kind of like... You got a bunch of different... Uh, there's a word for it. I'll figure it out stuff yeah that's close enough um that's cool uh i think freedom is probably the most interesting yeah with all the viruses resources yeah sorry different resources and i don't mean never under resources it's like your virus counters mean different things for different reasons and that's pretty cool alleles no yo funny enough jessica if there's an anarch we'd be building today it'd be null but we're probably not going to for pretty weird reasons I just checked and Krim legit only has two currents. The other's in scheduled maintenance. And scheduled maintenance is real good though. Uh, I don't know, Rob, if you're being facetious or not. I played on scheduled maintenance before and in certain decks it's really good. If you're playing like, uh, obviously, uh, like the sort of Fisk Investment Seminar stuff, Gang Sign, that shit's really good. Obviously, it's really, really, really good. Um, but 
For APOC? Yeah, for APOC, it's cool too. It's okay. I guess you'd pl probably play that just so you can play a current in APOC Criminal. Actually, probably, no, you can't really interdiction the same turn you Apocalypse, huh? I think that's cool. But it's, um, yeah. Hey, Vincent, what's up? I've been enjoying On the Lamb with Mystic Miami lately. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, On the Lamb. On the Lamb, honestly, is a very strong card. There's not a lot of cards that remove tags uh, whenever you want. And On the Lamb is a bit expensive, but it is an event. So Mystic Miami? <laughs> Miami uh, is actually pretty good for that. Why would you tease me like that? Oh, you'll see. Okay. Okay, this is where we're starting. Uh, if I'm missing a card here, let me know. But uh, last week we played a deck. And the idea of the deck was to get like... With the combination of the new card, Cyber Trooper Talent, which boosts the strength of your cards, we wanted to get like chameleons down. So we have these five strength chameleons that could get through anything for one credit per subroutine, which is like... That's pretty good. That's the standard. I think in Netrunner, if that's always been like the gold standard besides Yogg.0, if you've been playing for a long time, the gold standard is if you can break ice for one credit per subroutine, you really can't do much better than that. Besides obviously like Faust and like, I don't know, Lady, things like that. So what about if we can do everything like that? And this is what I was saying. I was like, doing all this nonsense is probably just like straight up worse uh, as doing like study guide and then like stim hacking so that we get all the counters on study guide. Like it's probably just not as good as that. And that's like, it has weaknesses. It's weak to program destruction, but we can tech around that. Uh, but it's probably not as good as that. So we're gonna try and do that. I think we're gonna try and build a deck that only has breakers that break one per subroutine. And we're not gonna worry about strength. We're not, so we have a pretty stupid breaker suite. There's a chance I'm missing some cards that are one per subroutine. If I am, let me know. But our, our rig is gonna be a study guide. Uh, beans, I didn't mean to click that. It's gonna be study guide. Puffer. And then we're actually going to play this card, which I'm convinced is pretty good. Nefer. We're not going to do Amakua. We're not going to fuck around with that shit. We could play Amakua, but what's the point when we have Nefer, Puffer, Study Guy? This is the ultimate Breaker Suite. I feel like Turtle does this already. Yes, it does, but it is an AI. And we can't do that. Play Nasir. Oh, no, we can't. We really can't. Puffer slot dinosaurus broken. Wait. What does dinosaurus say? Can you do that? The thing is, like, I think we might need our dinosaurus for our Nefer. So I think we probably play dinosaurus anyways. Oh yeah, wow. Dinosaurus puffer. Wow, that's a scary snake. Like dino snake. Huh? 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 Um, that's a cool place to start. The thing is, like, in most games, you either have to get this to 5 strength, or you have to get this to 8 strength. And you never have to get higher than that. So even if we spend a stupid turn just doing this, like, we're fine. We're really good. <laughs> NYC Meta Turtle Gang. And Nifer, Nifer is my favorite legal fracture. It's so much fun. Nifer actually seems reasonable. This is why we'd consider playing Null, because all these breakers are actually pretty okay in Null, because uh, they kind of deal, like, Null deals really well with them. Eventually, Study Guide won't be a problem. And now the issue is how do we play these cards? Because uh, we have to play, we have to play them, and it's pretty difficult. So what faction do we play in? I think there's two really compelling options. I think the first one is, beans. Uh, I think the first one, did I fuck it up again? Yeah. The first one's pretty easy. If you just play this in Shaper, and we could play Haley, we could just play Wu, whatever. I'll open Wii here. Uh, yeah, you can play Wu, and we can get all this stuff open. I think the only th tech is we need to put our Puffer either on a Dinosaurus or more likely a Leprechaun, and then we're good to go. We can pull that stuff up. Uh, for Nefer, it can be a bit difficult. Uh, we have to work with either Data Sucker Counters or um, uh, what's it called? Jacoby, stuff like that to get this to work, but we probably can. And the other option, which honestly is probably pretty compelling on its own, is just to play Adam. I like that you're far out of left field, though. Be great if so. How do you feel about Injection Attack? Not good enough, probably. I feel like there's better cards than Injection Attack. Like Cyber Trooper Talent is probably better. Uh, Data Sucker is probably just better. Jacoby is probably just better. Surveyor, every time they install it later, ice, click Puffer twice. That's good enough. The fact that we're breaking uh, that for, like, the fact that we're breaking Surveyor for two credits is, is nonsense. There's a version of Smoke that didn't occur to pump Study Guide. Yeah, I've seen that. And you can just use, like, the Smoke ability. 
Um, the other one we can build is we can build Adam, and Adam actually deals with some part of these things really well. Uh, Niffer still is going to be an issue, but we have Data Sucker because we want to run Centrals anyways. Uh, Adam sometimes can have a shit ton of MU if you're playing his console, so uh, Puffer sometimes doesn't have to be hosted on something. Sometimes, don't quote me on this. Uh, and the biggest thing about Adam is that we have access to this card, which is only one influence, so there's no reason not to do this in Shaper as well, uh, is you run Multi-Threader. And the thing about Multi-Threader is not only is it a really good card, especially when running is really cheap, but on top of it, every turn you don't use multi-threader, you can just pump your study guide by one strength. And once it gets to five or six strength, you're good, you're done. So that's all that matters. Um, I think those are both really compelling. Adam is in some ways more exciting because Adam has built-in multi-axis, which is really strong. Because we can run HQ every turn for cheap, see what's on top of the R&D, and then run that for cheap. Let alone make money when it comes to uh, a lot of times with RNG key. Um, so all that stuff is really good, but the point is, I want to only break ice by paying one credit per subroutine and nothing else. I, I know we're going to have to boost for this, but fuck it. All right, chat, we ready to do this? I'm going to need some help because I'm, <laughs> I keep building shaper decks. It's been weeks we've been building shaper decks. What the fuck is going on? That's all right here. Kit, but guide play MT works is fun. It's just slow to get it started. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of stuff. Dedicated processor. What is that card? Isn't that the click one? I don't think Null adds to Cyber Trooper. It really doesn't. What is this? Whoa! 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 Whoa, they knew we were coming and they built us a chip! Oh, it's a mod, sorry, it's not a chip. It looks like a chip. Better, faster, stronger. Look at you! Oh, you're a pretty little- Oh, wait, no, it says plus two credits plus four strength. We can't play that. That's not credit per sub. That's boosting, that's cheating. You can't boost. It's better than Dino. What is this? No, no, no. We can do challenges for only two separate teams for one credit. Tycoon, Brahmin. There must be more. There has to be. We're going to hit an Asset Spin deck on our first match and cry. No, but if we play Shaper, we just play Parisia. Like, whatever. Brahmin gets you back to Woo, though. Yeah. We're like 10 minutes away from a Baba Yaga deck. <laughs> Holy shit. Do we just play Baba Yaga? No, none of this stuff matters. For Baba Yaga, we don't need to do any of this. Are we just building a really bad Baba Yaga deck? Please, we never build Baba Yaga decks, right? That's always a mistake. We never... Okay, well, let's try with Shaper first, which I think might be more straightforward, largely because I haven't played uh, anything else in a while. You get credit per sub after Niffer is at strength. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. totally, totally. I think we will Niffer with a dedicated processor as, like, hot tech, sweet tech, sweet tech backup. Okay, I'm allowing this two credits for four strength. Because that's nutty. That's fucking nutty. The thing is, like, how many barriers get played here? Like, Eli, that's going to be an issue. That's going to be an issue for sure. Oh, we break that for four, whatever, bog standard. And then eventually we break it for two. Border control, we're ready. Cookie go, we're ready. There's no other barriers. Nobody plays any other barriers. Please, nobody play Blue Sun. I think you need processor for Niffer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Border control is fine, so we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Break Eli with study guide and kit. I don't know if we can play Kit just because this is so like hungry on our influence. We're, like we're already seven in, and she has like what ten, and we need to play multi threader just because we need booster study guide. I think we'd play it just shaper and then we just rebirth into Kit. Like that seems reasonable. I I, I I I think we'll just rebirth into her. We'll be fine. We'll be fine, right? <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So what are we playing? We could play the professor. Don't know if we want to Nasir. Yeah, it's, we're already making things hard for ourselves. I don't know why we do bitter. Somebody <laughs> say Nasir. Nasir is fine. Nasir is good. One credit per sub is really good with Nasir. But again, like I think we rebirth into Nasir. Play against Blue Sun with Nasir. It's a good day. So it's between Kaz and uh, Cabanessa. I said Jez and Kaz together. I did it again. Uh, Haley, obviously, which is good, helps with her setup. Smoke is honestly not that bad. She has a thinner deck and she gets a credit per turn, which already helps when it comes to breaking stuff for cheaply, let alone the study guide. But I think the most happy thing I'd be about playing Smoke is not playing a stealth deck. Everyone's like, oh, you're playing a stealth deck and you don't. That's how you get them. I think that's not the worst. The Chaos Theory is okay, but boring. Uh, and then Akiko Nisei is probably going to suffer from the influence. Uh, where are we going here? Did someone say, please don't play Blue Sun? <laughs> How's it going, close to, La close to La Roche? Welcome. Um, how are you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. I honestly don't know. I think we can just start with like boring smoke. Or I was gonna say either boring smoke or boring Haley, and then we can uh, see where it goes from there. Isla rebirth kit. Oh, we can't play Isla. She's not. They made her illegal. 
Okay, a couple things. We need a puffer. We need a nefer. Uh, we need uh, what's the last one? A study guide. Easy. All right, that's a sweet. That's such a good breaker suite. The NPS. Um, okay, other stuff we're gonna need. I think we want some stim hacks for sure because we want to get our stuff big quick. Uh, we can also run multi-threaders. This is going to be an MU intensive issue. Uh, we want that dedicated processor to make sure that we can boost our nefer if we need to, which hopefully we don't need to. Andrew, how's it going? Tuning in from Boston on a business trip to check out some sweet, sweet Netrunner. Hey, hopefully you're having a good, uh, good business trip. Where are you from originally? Polongi, yeah, Polongi can get in there. Leprechaun, yeah, we definitely need Leprechaun, if not Dinosaurus. Uh, maybe even both, I don't know. Leprechaun also just helps with like all the multi-threaders and other garbage we're playing. Some modifying code, yeah, that seems like uh, default. Uh, clone chip, honestly, maybe we just play two of these. I don't know if we need three. If our stuff gets trashed, we lose anyways. Uh, yeah, Polongi is probably worth playing. The thing is, like, Polongi is worth playing in the early game. and the late game, it's not worth playing because we break everything for one credit. It's cool with Nefer, though. It, like, lets us, uh, like, break, like, cheap, shitty stuff to get our Nefer up, which is cool. Play Rebirth and your opponents on Blue Sunny from Rebirth into Corp deck and force them to switch IDs. Can't fail. The Corp Rebirth would be broken. Are we Hushuking just to make it more complicated? I don't think we want a Hushuk. I think we're the kind of deck that can afford to run every turn really cheap so that we probably want something just more like uh, R&D interfaces. Rizeki for Econ. How's it going, Anthony? Uh, I'm worried about MU, but we'll we'll get to that. There's actually a chance we want to play cards like Rizeki and uh, other things like this. I'm just going to play two because we need to play Dummy Box. And Dummy Box needs to be fed other programs. Um, because if somebody like trashes our study guide, let alone our Nefer or our Puffer, oy vey, it's bad. So we got to make sure that doesn't happen. So we'll play two of this. Um, we also are going to play a single, well, not at least one copy of Beth to give us more clicks if we ever need those to hit up the Puffer. Um, for a console, I guess we play Dinosaurus. This is starting to get a bit expensive, so what we're going to do is we probably want to just put some mods in here. We're playing Shaper though, so we have to be really careful we don't become the bad guys. Kivan is good if everything's cheap to break. That it is, but I feel like at that point it might be worse than multi-threader. I don't know. Okay, we're definitely missing some basic stuff here, but what would those basic stuff be? I think there's no reason not to run two copies of Netmarker, because we do have stealth credit. Uh, we need some multi-axis. Honestly, we could probably even get away with running a single copy of, um... How bad is our MU going to be? Probably not that bad. We can probably run a single copy of, uh, Stargate. D4? Uh, we don't need D4. D4 would probably, like, actually help, but... Do we not need it? Clone Chip's good for stim hack. I feel like we have the basis of a deck, we just don't have enough money or ways to win. I think not enough money is probably the biggest thing here. So how do we get more money into this? Uh, playing money cards is a good start. So professional contacts might be a bit slow. I think professional contacts is a good reason to play Haley. I feel like we actually have a lot of things to install here. We're probably better off as Haley than the one credit per turn. Because we really want to get things on the table quickly. I think we're going to pivot to Haley really quick. I honestly think that this deck might be just better than Adam. But hey, here we are. Uh, I want a Haley. Can you? How? How? Oh, it's all broke now. Now it's broken. <laughs> Adam? Yeah, Adam's really good because Adam can tutor programs, let alone hardware. Um, yo, if something's broken up here. Something is fucky. Choose Puffer or Study Guide to make your point. The first great. Oh, don't forget Rebirth. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Is this better than just running Strathbakers? So that's kind of the issue, is that so much of the talk that we've been classically doing about Netrunner for the last, like, years about what's better than something else... But we want to do something that's different. And that's why we're running Nefer Puffer or something. Is it better than Stealth? Yeah, probably. Barriers don't suck. I'm just kind of tr proving a point here. To be like, is it, if we can break one per sub, is it broken? Is it? 
Is it? Is it? Oh, you always run a misdirection, you're a shaper. Why wouldn't you? Especially in this. Uh, Self-modifying code. Okay, so let's get some other stuff in here. We have some diesels. We have, I like modded a fair bit. Uh, we'll play the gamble, seems good. Oops, we'll play the gamble, seems good. Um, we'll play stim hack because we said we would. Then some clone chips, we don't maybe need two. Actually, maybe two is okay because we could play like spec work or something. The dedicated processor, our, we need interfaces, unfortunately, because we can't run Stargate because I think we use too much MU. We have Dinosauri. Oh god, this card's expensive. Uh, Beth, dummy box. Gnome nor Mercur. All right, we gotta fill this up. For four influence, just run Begalter unless you're really tied to Puffer. Yeah, we are. We we totally are. We totally are. We totally are. One thing is, Puffer isn't an upgrade on Nanotech with Kobe support. One Puffer three forked. Oh man, Adam needs to draw a card to do what you want. Yeah. That's fine. Adam draws a lot. Adam draws for free. Uh, what is it called? There's a good card to put in here. I just read about it. Oh, Rebirth. Yeah, that's one of them. Okay, we probably don't have enough money. We don't have enough money. How do you put more money in a Shaper deck? That means putting more Rizekis in it, right? Uh, we also just want probably... Like, we can't really spec work any of this stuff. That seems pretty difficult. We also have no way of dealing with Excalibur, which is something... Oh, I guess we have Palangi. We can do a Palangi. Um, peace in our time? Really? Yeah, you're probably right, actually. That seems incredibly good. Um, and what's left? Like, a single technical writer seems bad. There has to be something really spicy we're not thinking of here. What's spicy? Admin? I don't know if we actually need Tacobi anymore. Uh, yeah, I guess Tacobi might just be our dedicated processor. Okay, what does this draw like? This is our opening. Ah, oh, we could keep this. We would piece and then diesel second. Then here we can proco casts. And then we proco. And honestly, that's a pretty good setup at this point. One, two. We can modded R and D interface and Oh, this does you can't rehost it. Oh, that's an awkward card. Ah do we need one more Leprechaun? I don't know. Memory's going to be a huge issue. Yeah, we do have the dinosaurs, and we may probably do need a second Leprechaun. I, I, I think that's probably wise. And I honestly think that Takobi might just be better than the the Dedicated Processor. Just because Dedicated Processor, uh, the install order matters a fair bit. And this one, it doesn't. Eh, fuck it. Okay, this is probably fine. Flameout? How's it going, Jeff? Uh, Flameout's okay, but like everything gets trashed on Flameout. We don't want anything to be trashed. So this is sure gamble. Second dinosaurs to find it earlier. We could. I just worry that because dinosaurs is incredibly expensive. Dinosaurs is so expensive. Like you don't want to draw dinosaurs. If we do dinosaurs, we need another modded. If we do dinosaurs, though, we can drop the dedicated processor. So that buys some slots. Uh, what is not necessary? Maybe we can play one fewer with that guy. You want that early though. Uh, we can like bluff that we have misdirection. We also don't have clot, but yeah, I think dedicated processor is, is cheating. Do we need more than one leprechaun? I, I, yeah, yeah. I think I read that before in a more mandatory thing. Pad tap for the dummy box combo. Oh fuck yeah, that's so good. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, I wish we could do it. The thing is, we don't have resources, but it's very hard for them to try. Like they might not try. Pad tap's really good in Haley. But the thing is, like, they won't try to trash these. Patap's also really good with peace in our time, because it's a card that gains money for the corp. Throw never any ice, even if it's a par, you don't know the ice. Yeah, never any ice is okay. I missed what dummy box is for. Dummy box is so that if they trash one of our programs, we don't lose the game. Because if they trash a Lotus Study Guide, we would lose. Okay, this is 46 cards, and honestly, I'm not feeling the worst about this. This might actually be a deck. Do you think we built a deck? What's the chance? Ooh, that's an opening, right? First, second, third, fourth. That's an opening. 
There's even a chance we don't have enough MU. Okay, we'll try this. We'll try this. We'll definitely try this. And having more programs is good because we keep them for dummy box. Okay, we're gonna call this one per sub. Uh, green in quotes because later we're gonna get one per sub followed by whatever color Adam is. It's either orange or purple. I don't remember. Why don't you do three color chips and no dummy box? Because the problem is not about like recurring the card. It's about getting it trashed in the first place. Because if we spend all the time putting tokens on Puffer or all the money putting credits on Study Guide, that's what we're worried about losing, not the actual program. So we need to prevent the destruction as opposed to make sure we ensure the recursion. Let alone Niffer, right? Like Niffer will be a problem if we lose it. Uh, Haley Kaplan. 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 46, let's go. Don't you need two copies of the program for that to work? Yes, just same type. Yeah, it doesn't have to be the name. So that's why you keep like the misdirection that you normally like just have a Haley value install for the pawn shop or whatever. Oh fuck, we forgot to put Parisia in. Whatever. Whatever. There's no asset spam. People don't spam assets. Oh, help me. Lord, help me if we find asset spam. Some competitive players playing tonight. Grinding them games. We got George, Choufleur, both from, uh, from Toronto. <laughs> At Caps Lock, in turn. That's uh, some of the Nisei folk playing. That's Dender Genio. And if I didn't say your name, yeah. Still in the Shaper kick? Sort of. This is probably just an Adam kick that I've like goofed it up. How's it going, D&D? &D? Um, I don't know what it is. I feel like so much more of like the criminal decks and the anarch decks I'm playing are just like kind of similar things to all the other things that we've ever done. Uh, like I, I don't, I didn't really grasp onto as. I probably should go back and play Geist because I think Geist got some new tools and Geist is like I think my favorite ID. Um, so now if I'm like trying to do weird stuff, it's always like, I guess you have to play Shaper because that has the ability to pull all the weird pieces. For what it's worth, there's a way to play this deck in Criminal. I don't know why you should, but this card is criminally, pun intended, underrated. This is a really fucking strong card. Wouldn't the dummy box prevent the trash? Yes, it would. That's why we're playing it, Jeff. That's why we have to play it, right? Uh, I think this card is insane. Uh, this is really cool. You play a cash, you pull out your next program. Like, there's no other card that tutors programs like that in the game. Click for install. Mm. There's some really cool stuff you can do with this. I'm going to miss cash once it's gone. Rosetta 2 is kind of neat. Cash, though, and I hate cash. Otherwise, Rosetta is cool. Yeah, I think Rosetta is really good. Four influence, it's a fair bid, for, of course. And you don't have to play cash. Like, fuck, could you play this in Haley? Maybe. Probably it's hard because you can't tutor it. So you probably just want to play in criminal and play like two of them so you can find it. But like this is a really strong ability. The f you can cycle through fems for free. You can do some nutty stuff with this. Is that a talent? Here we come. Yeah, you can do that as well, right? Like even <laughs> play break and enter suite. Oh man. Line in the library, press Rosetta. Yeah, I guess you could. That feels like a lot of work for nothing really. Right? Wait, so you can install on the first or return? To her hand. I guess you could. I never got. Oh, wow. I never got into London Library. I don't think I've actually ever played it. Oh, I probably have. All right. What's Coca Cola up to? Asa. Okay. That's probably a good test. Opening hand has no money. So we're going to mulligan it. I'm really bored of Talit already. I'm still loving the core booster cards. Oh, DRM was great on Monday. Yeah, DRM is good. How's it going, Ender? Cabinet is basically Rosetta on a stick. Yeah, but in Criminal, that's like, like nobody builds combo Criminal decks. They're always like to end up in Shaper. But the fact that Criminal could, in theory, pull out the three restricted wine glasses. Oh, we're going to mulligan for money. We found some of it. This is why I don't love the double dino, because it's not a very good early draw. Hopefully we draw in a Proco. So this is Asa Group. They can go pretty quickly. Uh, they install the card first. So that says the first time you install a card, they can protect it with a, a non-ice, or sorry, an ice or a non-agenda. So that could easily be turn one Rashida, a 3-2. The new 3-1, the Mega Pre. Uh, this actually could be asset spam. Fuck! <laughs> it's happened. All right. Don't have a double install here unless we do this, which would be terrible. So we're just going to set up. Uh, this is pretty bad. Talent dog deck. Are the dogs even expensive to boost? I thought they're one per one. 
The dogs are really cool at London Library. Three fourths cancer. What? Definitely a fully operational deck. Oh, that would make sense. Yeah, advanced assembly lines. Here we go. Jeeves, that's pretty good value. Turn one, so they can install a card if they want. So we're pretty ready here to go. The question is if they're going to have bigger sentries or bigger barriers. I honestly think they'll probably have bigger barriers. Uh, Hagen, stuff like that. So maybe we want a dinosaur sniffer, but we don't want to install the dinosaurs full cost. Getting an R&D interface down is also pretty sweet. Because we can lock them. This is not sports, so their draw is a lot worse. Yeah, this is definitely fully operational. We're going to have to zoom out a wee bit. One card in HQ, we could run it. I honestly think we run this. Oh, that was advanced assembly lines. Oh, wow, that's that worked out really well for them. So this lets them install one card from HQ, ignoring all costs. Okay, well, they have no money. This is the term where you trash things so you don't lose. Uh, we This is already fired. I think we want to run server one for sure. Oh, wait, that's the... Th oh, wait, no, 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 hold on, wait. So this is the, what's it called? Uh, the assembly lines. So we really don't have a reason to run that. They did install the card from HQ, so I'm pretty sure this is an operation, probably fully operational. Imagine a crazy eternal crim deck with Orvoir, Switch, GPI, Netteb, Zamba. Yep, yeah, that'd be pretty good. Blank field test, yeah, didn't do much. Okay, so we're not gonna run that. We're gonna set up, that's what we do. We have the rebirth, wait, what do we rebirth into? We don't rebirth now, because we're just setting up still. Uh, none of these cards are good. This is a bad draw, right? Do we just lock the top of our D? We could trash this for four. Trashing this for five is a bit too much right now. So I think we throw out the dinosaurs, we throw out the misdirection, which just leaves us at six cards. Uh, we can install a single thing. I just don't want to install anything. We need an SMC, because we need to pull a multi-thread out. I think you just trash Jeeves. Yeah, we probably want to, because they're gonna be clicking at all the turns, and then we're gonna throw out a bunch of our hand, whatever. We got six more credits on here. They recur the Jeeves, that's so bad. Okay, what's not necessary? Dinosaurs are not the necessary. Clone chip is probably, misdirection is definitely not necessary. We have to do one more. Uh, it's probably the clone chip that's the least good card. Sturm Hurricane? Oh, we could have Sturm it. You're right, we totally could have. And then we, the clone chip will recur what else we lose. I guess the worst case is the, the rebirth. Yeah, we probably should have Sturm Hacked that, honestly, you're right. All right, here we go. All right, here. We, here. Oh, 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 this is really but not good. This is miserable. We can't double install anything. Stop trying dino? Yeah. Stop trying dino's right. If this was like an astrolabe, oh my god. Uh, this is terrible. Huh. We can't. I'm assuming we're just not going to need the dino. Oh, no, we, we took Tacobi out, right? I like Tacobi more than dino, I'm realizing. Uh, hold on, hold on. We got to take this. We got to take this. Seems the worst possible drag could have had. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, Proko would have been good by now. Oh, we do have a Tacobi. Okay, so we're going to dish the dino. And I think we're actually going to dish the rebirth, unfortunately. Giving them a lot of money seems bad because they're poor. Nothing. That's all good. I don't understand how successful field tests survive the terminal directive cut. Well, it's 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 a cool card. It's a four two. I don't know. I wish HB kept their five, six two. I think that's a really cool card. Admittedly, maybe it's at some point problematic. I don't know. Violet level clearance. They're gonna draw a fair bit. If we had, if we play our piece, which is a good time to play our piece, we can't run, so we can't like check HQ. 
HP needed a 4-2, that's totally true. And uh, what is, a lot of them are not good. Uh, FCOM is already in there. Well, there's not a lot of options. Like a lot of the HP ice sucked. Uh, that like net damage, brain damage card, Project Ares, none of that stuff is particularly compelling. Uh, I honestly, I wish actually, uh, what's it called? Successful, what's it? The one with the the car on it? The new car? Ooh, Cybernetics Court. Okay. So they're a combo deck. We don't have clot. Here, have some money. Oh, oh, that's good. That's a good order. Okay, cool. All right, so we're going to just pop our SMC for our study guide, and we're going to go. Advanced Concept Opera, yeah, that's the one. I think that could have made it for sure. I think that's a pretty good card. Uh, I played my last games of Sealed um, uh, Netrunner uh, this like this week, and I got like a turn three Advanced Concept Hopper. Oh my god, is that fucking nonsense. Mega Pre? It could be Mega Pre. Oh, this is Asta's Bam. This actually honestly also could be... Okay, well, we're just going to try and lock them off R&D with R&D interfaces. Uh, this also could be... Um, uh, What's her name? Uh, Lakshmi Smart Fabrics. Oh, we might want to pop SMC to, to pull out our, uh, what's it called, so we can use the multi-threaded credits, but I don't think we're in a rush. Okay, we have a puffer. Problem is that we threw out both our dinosaurs, so the puffer needs a leprechaun. So we can self-modify and code for a leprechaun and install the Rizeki on it, and then we actually have like a, a way to deal with assets. This is using programs. Oh, SMC is using a program, of course. Not the installation part. Oh, we don't need a host. I will run R&D, how bad could this be? Running last click is, is nah, that's cool. Uh, should we host? Is there any reason not to? Yeah, we won't host. We actually have no MU. This is gonna be an issue because we need a puffer on there, and we need the fur, and we need the other thing. Yeah, we we shouldn't have thrown out two dinosaurs. This is gonna be a mistake. A oh, tour guide. Tour guide is not good for one per sub. Let me tell you. Okay, yeah. Uh, not having the dinosaurs is gonna be a problem. Maybe we want to replace a clone ship with a reclaim or something like that. Like, wow, he's doing the fur dinosaurs, and I saw a puffer. Yeah, we're doing all this stuff. We're playing one per sub. Tour guide is pretty good against one per sub though. <laughs> Zero strength. I really think if we get R&D interfaces down, we have a big chance of winning here. There's fully operational to make four cards, so they're getting draw a lot. Uh, the Nasix combo is something if you haven't seen before, it's pretty wild. Just saw a deck playing Reclaim to DDoS over and over again. It was so obnoxious, I kind of loved it. I feel like Shapers, in fact, everyone could try playing more District 99. I re didn't realize that it fires off of Trash, right? So that fires off of like Clone Chip, it fires off of SMC, it fires off of everything. And then recurring a, a Clone Chip means you can Clone Chip into SMC, which gives you basically all the counters back. Okay. So Clone Chip gets into SMC, which in theory can get us into the remote sometimes, not always. <laughs> we know one of these is a tour guide, so our puffer is just good enough on its own. Let's get a modded. Oh, that's interesting. Let's get a modded. Oh wow, fuck, that's everything. And so now MU is an issue. Fuck me. So we need to use the SMC to go find the other leprechaun. Oh, this is convoluted. And then on our turn, we can do that to install study guide. This is probably not the worst. Everyone's here. Yes, everyone is here. Adam can do that with bombs. It's click intensive, but you want to learn that around last click. Yeah, I think Adam is actually a really compelling way to do this deck. <laughs> file level clearance. I feel like we don't want them to have that. Oh my god, the full art file level clearance doesn't have a trash cost on it. How absurd is that? The like world's winning deck list has no trash cost. How's your opponent gonna know it's trashable? I forgot it was trashable. I thought it was ultraviolet for a second. Last time I saw it in the wild. 
that card shouldn't be tournament legal because like how's your opponent going to know that's trashable full rsmc is one mu yeah but that's fine like for the runner you can always say like that's one mu whatever okay some nonsense is going to happen here and they can score a 5-3 which can put them on game point because then they can like you know it's, it's going to be bad uh so we're going to use this <laughs> for another leprechaun using these credits host install program on leprechaun uh yeah we can huh okay hold on wait 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 wait, wait. it's gonna be it's we got this i uh, as uh, we got this let me let me do it it won't let me do it Apparently MU is fine. That's weird. Oh fuck! Wait, 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 wait. We fucked it up. Also, wait. Let me. Uh, wait. This should not be the defer. This should be. Well, we'll, we'll fix this. We'll fix this. Don't worry. Oh, we can't move it back to our hand. It's the same shit. It's the same shit. You can't fuck up in shaper on JNet. It's a, that Nefer is meant to be a. Uh, I can't do any. Oh, it's because I can't afford it. Hold on. I can't trash it. Oh, that's a pain in my ass. Thank you. How do do we have to undo, undo turn now? Do move hand? Is that weird? Oh, thank the Lord, Rob, thank you. Oh, that's huge. Okay, so we have four clicks, one credit. The Leprechaun should be hosted. Apparently that's not working. Okay, okay. You don't need to host it though, don't we? Why? 1MU, 2MU, 3MU, 4MU, 5MU. This is, we're over MU. Like it's not doing our MU properly. We should be at zero. Nah. I, those credits on SMC. Yeah, all right, so. We probably want that eventually. We need to find our R&D interfaces. Now we're just trying to win off top decks. Uh, do we just stim hack this remote? I think we do. I think we just stim hack this. Uh, we're gonna need a shit ton of money. For the, like if it's double tour guide or some shit. Hagen's a problem too, cause Hagen trashes one of our leprechauns and we have no way of dealing with Hagen. Getting clone chip down. So Hagen's the worst case scenario. The left right is fucked up because they told it to host itself on itself. Did I? Yeah, I probably did it honestly. I, I think I did click on it because the prompt came up in the wrong time. So there's the Lakshmi. So we called that. So yeah, so this is Lakshmi. Lakshmi really good with DRM. So we can't steal this without Film Critic. We don't actually have a restricted card. There's no reason for Film Critic not to be in this deck. So this will be a lot of money. So we're not going to use that money. We're just going to go ahead and... Uh, Man, five strengths probably good enough. And we're set up. <laughs> That's it. We're done, right? And now we just have to win off of locking them R and D, which is probably not going to happen. This wasn't that slow. I think our draw was bad. I think our draw was bad. This turn was long because we fucked it up a bunch, but ah, it's turn seven. Puffer. Puffer's good enough, right? Like, we're one per sub. That's all we wanted. Funny enough, one per sub isn't good enough in this deck. And uh, they can just jam a 3-2 here, right? Like, they just team to ship a 3-2 because we can't do with Lakshmi. Even if you trash Lakshmi, it's not good enough because it's still the effect is on even if Lakshmi is trashed. So I think we're going to lose regardless. I think we had a film critic. We have a chance. <laughs> so we'd have to run R&D, run HQ a bunch of times. 
So that's a 3-2 for sure. Oh, it's a food. Okay, wait. We win this one, right? No, they have no three-pointers. We can't win. Biotic. And they can just show us whatever is in here with the Lakshmi counters. Six-strength Gatekeeper? Oh, you're right. But we're good. We have multi-threader. Yeah, so they're showing a Vitruvius. So we can't steal it. Hey, good game. So there's a definitely a Vitruvius in this remote. There's no reason not to. I think Lakshmi is really strong. The thing is, like, Film Critic is probably one of the more popular restricted cards now. I'm wondering if people are actually playing Angolo over it. But, hey, proof of concept here. We just gotta get less dinosaurs in this deck. Uh, Dinosaurus and Takobi. First time with the deck. I don't know. It's uh, not a lot of big barriers. We might be okay. Uh, we also could just play Data Sucker, but MB's a problem. I think we just need to fix the dinosaurs thing. We'll put in a film critic. We'll take out some of the cards that are bad. I think we don't actually want the Plongies. Uh, actually, maybe the Plongi is really good. Just made it 10 minutes ago. Gotta keep grinding it, see how it goes. Uh, also, obviously, the multi axis is important. If we drew modded, that so would have been really good, and the RD interfaces. Uh, we can try maybe one fewer Palangi. That might be okay. And we didn't drop Pokos, but that's all right. Hey, cheers. All right, move to hand. That's huge to know. That would have been a huge help last week, actually. We fucked that up a lot. All right, let's see you guys again. If you're just tuning in, by the way, how's it going? My name is Andre. Uh, this is Metropol Grid. I try and say this pretty regularly, but maybe you're new to Netrunner, maybe you're new. Uh, even to this channel, it's so it's like really easy to make an account and say hi in chat and ask questions, especially if you're new in the game. I try to describe what I do. I'm not perfect at it. Uh, I'll just try it again. We won't do any changes. Um, but yeah, it's really easy. Hey, Aaron, tell me where you are. How's it going, man? Yo, I gotta I gotta message you about the address. Uh, you were hit me up on Facebook. Yeah, that should work. I can check Facebook. Appreciate maybe? Yeah, it's okay. We could. We definitely could. Um, I feel like that would probably help to make the deck a, a wee bit stronger against assets. I'm just hoping we're not going to queue into assets for now. Um, just because I want to see what this can do against. Like, I want to play against like a, a Jinja deck or something like that and see if we can hold on. So I want to see if the concept is good enough. Because like, there's a chance that paying one per subroutine is just still not enough. And I think if we do have a bad asset matchup, we probably just would want to switch into um, to Adam. Because then you put pressure on centrals early game, which is really strong. It slows down those decks a fair bit. I think that's actually a really good point of Adam, is that just playing Adam slows down people. And you know what they're drawing, so you can play the information is like super valuable. We play this in 419 with a lot of Rosettas. And we save four influence on, on Puffer <laughs> worth. How much influence is Dino? It must be like three. Oh, Dino's too. It's just really cheap for a console, but you really can't pay five for this one. It's way too much for five. And I don't maybe rebirth isn't worth a slot. I don't know what we're rebirthing into. I think I think we said we would rebirth into Haley, but that's actually wrong. Like why would we want to rebirth into Haley when we can or into Kit, sorry, when we can break everything for one credit per sub in theory. I don't I don't think the re Oh, I guess the rebirth is good against like things like Argus. You can play Jesminder. Playing Adam slows down the runner. I think Adam's really good right now. I don't know. I think Adam's like pretty competitive. I think Adam's just harder to play. And Adam also does have that element of uh, of snowball, right? Like that's a really big thing with Adam is if Adam doesn't get an early agenda, they struggle with hand size a fair bit and then they're like further out of the game. So competitively you're playing Adam, it can be pretty difficult if you don't get that good early start. Then you start to tilt, right? You start to do ridiculous stuff just so you get that sweet, sweet two points. Ah, it's hard out there. Ow, I gotta, I, I get like, if I don't sleep enough, not only do I get headaches, but like my stomach gets really bad. So my stomach is tied to my sleep way too much. Ah. I'm wondering when we're gonna get to that point where I like try and go to bed at like nine o'clock, like a well-adjusted adult. I, it's no time soon. But I'm not bragging. I don't think that's a good thing to live like that. 
I'm aware of some of these people. Uh, uh, I, you're an old man. Yeah, not yet. All right. Sports metal. That could. They have ice. We can break their subroutines. Hey. Vegas Slayer. Hand is not great. Uh, dummy box is not particularly necessary. Thanks, you too. Oh, excuse me. Need that brain cage. Uh, yeah, you could brain cage. I, I don't know if brain cage is worth the slot, though. You could brain cage for sure. This will turn into a very boring stream. If I go to bed at nine? Okay, that's a bit better, right? So what do we do? I think we diesel first. So, okay, I realized I've been watching a bit of my Haley gameplay and I realized that like I hold on to Haley value a bit too much, even when it's not good. So for those who played Haley, what is better? Do you Proco turn one and then click it three times? Or do you like diesel to look for the double install or look for the gamble into the Proco? I never know what to do here. Cause in my other games, I would draw once to try and find like a pad tap or like a technical writer and then double Proco. Do you just slam Proco and draw? Don't play Diesel and Haley. Yeah, that might be right too. Well, like, what do we do here? <laughs> Fuck, I'm Dieseling. That's bad, because now we can't play any of this stuff. Oh, that was terrible. Okay, this is going to be bad. Uh, we can do credit, modded, multi-threader, Polongi, install Proco. Yeah, that's a turn, I guess. Wow, installing naked Polongi is terrible. Okay, that was not great. Can Proco modded? Yeah, that was probably better, actually. Just installing Proco there would probably be better. Because none of this gives us value in the early game. We don't want to install this. Does Dummy Box combo with Pad Tap? It definitely does. It 100% does. We should be playing it. I want to be playing it. The thing is, like, you need resources in hand. But the thing is, like, they... I don't know if a lot of people are going to pay three credits to, 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 to make that... To guess, you know? There's a really cool deck I saw at Winnipeg uh, with the Winnipeg Nationals. Or, sorry, Regionals, which you can watch online at Winnipeg Netrunner on Twitch. Someone's playing a Tag Me Liza deck, but had Paparazzi and then like Dummy Box. Okay. We can just face check this. They only have three credits. So this could easily be like NGO front, which could be disastrous with this ice. Um, it could easily be uh, any of the ones that are not really bad on tempo, like the 3 1. I guess they advanced it twice, so it's going to be bad for them. What did they do for red level? Install a non agenda. That was the ice, though. Oh, we're running into an NGO front here, and we're not be able to trash it. That really doesn't do anything. Neurostasis. That's an NGO front. They definitely didn't need to pop it. We had no credits. Whatever. Technically, we made a successful run. Proco. Proco. Oh, we were one off. I think we actually just installed the Rizeki. It's it's probably good enough. We can mod the Rizeki. I think we might want to get more value. They're ready to go. <laughs> what a bad opening. June bug. Uh, we we live. I, I think we die actually. That's what I love about sealed is that you find it's like you get that excitement of when you're learning netrunner where you're like, what is this ice? What could it possibly be? As opposed to like I'm playing around four ice, which you know maybe makes things more manageable. But like when you're running and someone reses a waiver and then you hit like a a ghost branch, like that shit's fun. Okay, I feel like it definitely modded Rizeki there. Yeah, maybe you do just so you can like gamble out of it. But I'm assuming next turn we just like daily casts. Well, there's our modded target. Wow, we're really bad at drawing uh, SMC here. Not that we could play it. We're going to throw out one dino again. Yeah, I feel like modded was right there. Oh, we can't. Thanks for asking, though. Um, let's try and get Volv value from double multi-threader. Oh, we have this. Ah, oh, fuck. Do we install Dino? I think we need to install Dino. Yeah, we'll try and install Dino. So we'll throw out the second, um, multi-threader, I guess. Maybe it's wrong. Definitely type too slowly to matter on my phone. <laughs> yeah, a lot of it's also the delay. I think the delay in YouTube is better. I think we should swap a Woo build for this. Yeah, I could see Woo being really aggressive, right? Like, not only with the Rizeki pulls, but you just, like, play three copies of Peace in our time. And then go from there. We're going to start next turn on four credits. They can score a 3-2. 
okay. Okay. So we can gamble and then we can get a single install, which is not particularly great. So I think we would just do gamble to the cast. And we don't want to install a Proco for no reason. Proco is not unique. I thought it would be. That's yes, Rashida. They're ready to go. This deck would benefit from filter draw. I'm not sure what you drop for class act though. The problem with class act is like it's too much influence for a card you can't tutor. I, I never like that when you spend four influence on a card that like you don't control whether or not you get. In some games you just don't play with four influence. And class act is not that good unless you open with it too. So it's like the sort of card you definitely play two of. You could play hostage for sure. And again, probably definitely film critic in this deck. We have no restricted card and that one's like a really easy one. Oh, it's five influence? Oof. I thought it would be four, okay. All right, this is an agenda. Sure looks like one. Double advancements, global food, equal project. All that stuff is slain by the mighty SMC multi-threader. Palangi, like we can get through two ice a lot of times. The problem is our ice is terrible. I still think we do it. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We died to one net damage here. Oh, you can only host an icebreaker on this. Eat my butt. I thought we could have some C on top of this thing. Oh, that's miserable. <laughs> Dino. Oh, I thought this could host anything. Whoopsies. I guess we're trashing a Rizeki. Honestly, we probably trash the Plongi. How do you trash? How do you how do you destroy something? How do you delete? What's the command for delete? What slash destroy? In which Andre learns that dinosaurs see so little play. Yeah, it's too cute not to see play though. What is it? How do you destroy? Do you move the hand in RFG? But we don't want to RFG that one because we can um we might clone chip it. We don't want to RNG it, RFG it. You click and drag it to your heap. I'm aware. It just won't let us. We we literally can't drag it. What was the hand command? Oh, it's not in this chat. What was the hand command again? Oh, discard number X. Okay, that's cool. So yeah, we can do that. Move hand. That doesn't work. Oh, okay. Got it. We're coding. It's because you have two cards highlighted. I. God damn it. Are you fucking serious? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Let's go! Server 1! So largely we only get through one piece of ice, but this is largely to get like a big code gate. Like even if it's an and a barrier, we'll just we'll pull out our, our decoder and get it ready up. Just refresh real quick. Yeah, we tried that last week, it didn't work. It's our last click. We have one click left so we can steal a Kawa if they're on a Kawa. I think it's more likely to be food. Hold shift while you do it. Oh, we didn't do that. Yeah, I don't think Dinosaurus is going to be in this deck for much longer. So that's the Hagen. Trash one program is not decoder, fractor, or killer. Uh, unfortunately, that's everything. That's so bad. So this is six strength. We can make it five strength, but we're actually really going to struggle. Like If we had the MU, we could maybe get through this. So we can get our, our, our uh, Nefer up to three strength. Not good enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to just get a study guide. We're going to use these credits because we're probably going to lose it. We're going to do place one power counter, place one power counter, place one power counter. Go ahead. It's all you. So they can fire at that. Are you playing with Microsoft Edge browser? <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, I'm on Firefox. 
We can't break that. No, we can't. <laughs> we definitely cannot. I think Nefer is definitely the weakest part of the deck. I think Study Guide is the best part of the deck. So they can uh, trash a card that it has. Uh, it's not Dakota Fractor Killer program, mind you. So it's either the Rizeki or the Multi-Threader. Honestly, I'm interested to hear what they break. Uh, trash. I think they should trash the Multi-Threader. I can't. I cannot. I think it should be this. This gives us two credits a turn. This gives us one credit. This is a real credit, though. Um. So we'll see. I think they might be more tempted to trash the Rizeki, but I think the Multi-Threader is the right trash. Yeah, okay, cool. So we're going to jack out in theory, it's actually end the run. We take the brain damage, hand size is only four. And we're off to the races. Okay. So. Our ME is, our ME is so jacked, out, uh, jacked up this game. What is this? Why does it say three? Let's see what they score. It's a five, three. If it's just a food, that's like obviously not good. Oh, it's an SSL. That's worst case. I feel like Nefer is the worst part of most decks, isn't it? I don't know. I feel like you could do Nefer. Like, if Nefer, you have Nefer support, you're good. Like, play Nefer with, like, Null and Data Sucker. Like, you're probably pretty good. After this game, I think it might be time for a browser restart. Yeah, it could be. But we've had those problems every week. Things are loading really slowly now. I guess we Diesel, but that's not Proco. We have a lot of money. I will Diesel again and double install. Yeah, there we go. Honestly, don't know if Dummy Box is worth it, but... We have a Nefer, so that's a win. Oh, uh, yeah, whatever, we'll install it. This actually does fight against Hagen, so next time they try and Hagen or something away, get him. Breaking Chiyashi with Nefer with 11 counters sounds great. It's pretty good. You just need five counters with Null. Data Sucker helps. Uh, you play Ice Carver. <laughs> Jessica Doug, you did this? No, definitely not. This is, we want to do this. You play Ice Carver, though. Like, I think this deck actually might benefit from playing Ice Carver. It helps a fair bit. If you rebirth in the kit, you can break that Hagen. Oh, yeah, right, we can. Well, not anymore, but we could. Uh, do we run HQ? What do we get? We have five clicks. I think we can consider running HQ. What's bad here, Architect? We also probably want to defer on a Dino. But like, I don't know how we're going to break this. We have to install a lot of programs. We just have to get this down. We only have three programs, though, so this will at most be three strength. Got it. We just figured out a way to defeat the mighty Hagen. Mimic breaks Architect for two. Puffer breaks it for two with some support. Batteries not included. Single sweet axis. What's happening? Oh, they have Jinja? Fuck me. Oh, it's a wait, oh, gatekeeper. Oh, sorry. So we have to break that, I guess. Honestly, this is really funny because we're probably like spending counters. I spent the money, but I didn't get a, a report in chat. So it's 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We spent six is 13, so no, we didn't. Okay, well, we never have to deal with this again. There's no punitive. Fuck me. Yeah, they res. You're right. I, I didn't see the chat. Okay, that's R&D in face. Give us a modded. Okay, we don't have a modded. Uh, we can keep the misdirection in hand, so we have dummy box fuel. I feel like we could consider rebirthing, but I honestly think we just pay full value for this. And we can peace next turn. We're going poor, that's fine, but we do have a piece in our time. All right. One more Icebreaker, Hagen? Get get dunked on. The problem is they're playing a Jinja deck, so they're also probably on Sater Adaptive Barrier. We're getting one sub a turn. We're at that territory. We lost both our multi-threaders, so that's like where our real value is. Because I don't think we have enough money if we don't have multi-threader. That's why like I think Adam's cool, because Adam can make money off making these cheap runs while we just spend money. Yay, they're on only five threes if they're a punitive deck. We can't piece next turn. Do we piece this turn? This is not an icebreaker. This doesn't lower the strength. Oh, my phone. I'm going to put that in silent.
Yeah, we'll contest every other agenda. Oh, we found the puffer, but we need the leprechaun. We can clone chip into SMC. This is so bad. Oh, we should have ran R&D as well. I forgot. Okay. Okay, so we're going to clone jump into SMC to get a Leprechaun to install our Puffer, and then we're off to the races. They're probably on Surveyor. If only this was Wu. Yeah, I might start. Honestly, why aren't we playing Baba Yaga? That's a good point. Baba Yaga is better than this. And as convoluted. Please no SSL. Iqua, fine. You can score an Iqua. I don't care. So the issue here is we got to keep a clone chip on the table if we want to threaten a clot so they can't score like the domestic sleepers. Uh, here we go. Oh, we can't do it. Because we need to pull the leprechaun to install. Oh, wait. Stop it! Why can't I click on SSC? Can I... Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take a leprechaun to our hand. <laughs> I can't. We literally can't. Jaina, no. Uh -huh. Okay, we haven't learned last week we have to stop playing Shaper. We can play Shaper on JNet if it's like this. Imagine. Undo click, but we didn't spend a click. That's the problem. It would be theirs. Which they could do. But we need it. I need it. Undo turn? Yeah, I guess so. So we both have to turn the key on this. Okay. Didn't fix it. Because, okay. Wait, because we can't shuffle card backs. Undo click, we can't undo click. Oh, I sound like a petulant child. Oh, that worked. Okay. Thank you. Why not use Chrome for browser that doesn't have this issue? How's it going, Angelo? Uh, I think we tried it before. I think we had the same issues. But we can try it again. Yeah, we can't move anything to anywhere. Move hand should still work even when you show your deck. Oh, that's cool. That's actually a pretty good way to fix it. Thank you. Okay, so they gotta do that again. Let's see if they take the money, the card draw. Okay, so we're gonna, on their turn, we're gonna sell the SMC. No, on our turn, we're gonna use SMC to install a Leprechaun. If they have the card agenda in hand, maybe we lose. And then we're gonna Haley. Install program on Leprechaun it will be the puffer. Okay. Is there anybody we want to rebirth into here? I think we rebirth into Kit. Because we had the Kogay Breaker. So actually this wasn't necessary. So we can see two cards. They can draw through it. Noah said that's a bug, by the way. You should be able to drag. Rebirth into Argus. Okay, so the first Kogay we get through is pretty good. This is first encounter, first piece of icing encounter. Okay, so slot machine is a code gate. Uh, let all subroutines fire. Ooh, we're breaking slot machine for credit. 
credit. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Okay, resource event program. It's okay, just one credit. Okay, easy. Study guide, five strength. Let's go. We're drawing a daily cast into a gamble. That's all good stuff. We shouldn't press that button. Yeah, I've pressed a couple of buttons. I shouldn't. Oh, I broke that. I'm going to take my money back. We broke that. All good. Oh, by our opponent probably just sitting there wondering what the hell is going on when we... Uh... That's a ginger. Might be problematic. Violet level clearance. Might be problematic. We could go again. It's going to cost us. So we draw daily cast gamble. Daily cast. Come on. We definitely go again. We don't need the SMC. Yeah, multi starter would be pretty sweet. So they got to pull that roll them bones. Uh, you got to. So we got to see how many. Um... We're only going to pay two at most on this thing. Actually, they can have three credits. I don't know if that's going to matter. Event hardware program. Okay, fine. So we have Stimhack coming up, clone chip into Lep. Okay. We have seen two new cards. Again, they can always draw off of this. It's never great to do this last click because then Sports Metal can draw up to the agenda safely without worrying about HQ pressure. So we have an architect coming up, so we have to hit the puffer once if we really want to use it. And to a surveyor. Fuck. So surveyor is a reason why we would study guide up higher or we would just start clicking puffer over and over again. Oh, please, why don't we just play Baba Yaga? Am I right? We are technically setting up. It's just we do, we're not putting on any pressure early for them to not do this. So I think if we just did this in Adam, we'd be in a good spot. We've also never used Niffer. Not once. Rut row. Okay. So there's legitimately some ice we can get through. So far this deck has officially broken one slot machine. Oh yeah, and Gatekeeper looks like a chump now. 14 credit gatekeep doesn't count. Yo, we, we still hacked this. David may be good in this. Yeah, but David isn't one per sub. But yeah, David is good in this. Do we just stim hack it? I'm assuming there's going to be a... If there's a surveyor here, it sucks. Oh my god, Puffer Jank. How's it going, Michael? Yeah, we're trying this out. Do the high strength while you get going. Yeah, exactly. Click the puffer. The thing is, like, we have to run this maybe twice because I'm assuming there's a border control here. So if we hit the puffer twice, it saves us. Every time we hit the puffer, it saves us two credits per run. Now, the first time we run it, if there's a surveyor here, thinking, um, is there a chance the gamble was wrong and the puffer was better? Yeah, there's a chance. At least the architect strength. Yeah, no matter what, this goes to the architect strength. Place one power count. Okay. So it's a three strength. Nefer can deal with Hagen. We can't deal with Seder Adaptive. We can't even deal with Eli. We'd have to click through Eli. <laughs> I guess we stim hack now. And hope that there isn't a surveyor here. Inside Ice Surveyor is pretty bad, but you just gotta play your hand at that point. Oh, this is rough. The fact that Eli is a problem for this deck is kind of bodes well. They knew we... I just hit Proco. Stop! <laughs> Wait. Okay. So, it turns out, if you do an undo click, well, within another undo click, that's how you don't take damage from a stim hack. And we keep the nine credits. Oh my god, this is broken. Okay. Wow, that's that's weird. Oh god, spaghetti. Yeah, it's spaghetti. Uh this is bad. So we can get through this. We did see it was a Seder adaptive. So this is fine. We 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 uh this is a code gate. We uh we break this for one. Uh 
Okay, so the good thing here is that we can't get through the server again. Oh wait, Sniffer's gonna get buff! Oh! Oh! How is happening? <laughs> oh, Sniffer is so good. Four strength. Oh, we have to click hit. Okay, well, we didn't. You're right, we should. Is this the end of the run? Yeah, okay. We have clicks also to steal. Oh, that was a problem actually. If we had to click through Eli, we can't steal um uh Iqua. Alright, so we are don't have any credits left, so we're gonna keep two. Just in case Iqua. We just doesn't have to go bigger than eight. So it's an SSL. Okay, cool. So we want to run this server once per turn. Just so that we can always break the Hagen. <laughs> just so eventually we can deal with this. This draws a stim hack, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, RNDC is another card. We could in theory run archives. We want to make sure we don't get punitive, actually. So I think drawing up to three seems a bit important. Remember punitive? Yeah, totally. If they have double punitive, we probably don't lose. I almost forgot punitive for a second. This is this exact kind of deck where if you have one per sub, you're in a pretty good spot. And if we like clone chip into uh, what's it called? Uh, if we clone chip into Plongi, we can start like getting through this for barrier and getting this up to five strength. Next turn it'll be six strength. They have to hit us with three punitives. I don't know why they're doing this. There's no way they can hit us with three punitives. Are they just getting the stim hack out of hand? That's not the worst. I wonder where the inner ice is. Yeah, I don't know. Trace 14? Yeah, okay. Neural? There's no fucking way they neural us. Do they neural us? Do they just value Stimhack for 17 credits? That's how you play around Beth, right? It's probably a code gate, honestly. This is probably like Gatekeeper. I think the only thing that makes sense they don't res is gatekeeper. Thinking? They hit a they hit the last stim hack, honestly. There's some value in that. Good thing is they don't have Jinja, so installing an ice here is actually like prohibitively expensive. The tension? Yeah. What do they do? Consulting visit neural? They could do it. O2 shortage? Oh. You can have a click. So that's one punitive out. We still have to respect punitive, right? But I don't think it's going to be a problem anymore. Paying a credit for an ice, gain a credit. Okay. Nero, how's it going? I need to get back into Neverland. still have all the cards. It's a really good time to. There's a lot of stuff you can just like print and play right now. There's new cards. The support is doing really good. Welcome to the stream. Too big to fail punitive. Yeah, it's been pretty great. I've been pretty happy with Neverland as a light. Okay. I think we want to run R&D for sure. I don't think there's any reason not to go here. In theory, Snare, actually. I don't think we die to Snare in this deck. It's a Jinja deck. They don't run Snare in a Jinja deck. So if this is Surveyor, they can't res it. It's a Code Gate anyways, so like, it's an Architect. So we can use Code Gate, or we can use Puffer. I'm going to just use Puffer for the sake of the argument. Boom. Just as good as... Uh, Begalter. Uh, you can uh, ooh. Okay, hardware, program, hardware, so that's two credits. We're going to see two cards here. Got to make sure we end up with three cards in hand. They're down to zero money, which is the best thing. Time to boost the Nefer. We can't, though. Oh, yeah, we will on this. Oh, it's too late because we already used our study guide. It's an NGO front. You can't have that. It's a consulting visit <laughs> to Neural. <laughs> All right. Another ND interface is good. I don't know if we have another modded. That Palangi is going to help us a fair bit. Because we have Palangi Study Guide. I think Study Guide is probably worth playing, besides Puffer, besides Nefer. I think Study Guide is kind of the shit. It seems really good. Uh, there's one mod left in nine cards. The question is, do we run this? Like, I think we still just run this, because it costs us very little. 
And we get a deal with Hagen, which is really important. I think we run this. Beth, uh, keeping the Rizeki has been pretty good. Yeah, actually boosting the study guide up to eight will matter because we're kids, right? So for both uh, Surveyor and, and Friends. Five strength, getting good. Now we can always just pay a credit to boost the strength. Too bad games in the area, my dad guess it's not always been taking on it. Northeast US Vermont. Interesting. Uh, Montreal has a pretty good scene. If you come in, it's actually one of the bigger scenes probably in Canada. If you want to come in for big stuff, uh, it's probably pretty close actually near to where to where I'm at. Yeah, Boston and Montreal pretty good. Oh, that should break it. Uh, we just had our regional a couple weeks ago. We have GNKs, but they're on weekday nights, so it might be hard to get in. So they can res a surveyor here. Actually, I didn't really consider that. Okay, and I think we might just like click puffer. It's a Jinja. It's important that you don't have that. So we're running out of money. <laughs> All right, here we go. Big snake. Reasonable varies from person to person. Yeah, yeah, especially if you drive, right? Sadeville, how's it going? Where do you peeps play? Uh, if you ask about Montreal. Or say, Sadeville? Sadeville? Oh, now the Seder Adaptive Barrier actually might be an issue. Yes, uh, we have a Facebook group. Um, a lot of times our regionals and big events are at BD Cosmos, which is in Laval. But if we do like GNKs during the week, they're almost always at the Randolph Pub on St. Denis in the Latin Quarter. Okay, I think we actually want to go in here. Or maybe we don't need to, but we want to maybe go in here just to get a barrier. But I think we probably want to run R&D. Three hour drive isn't too bad. It's not that bad for a regional, like a full day netrunner. It maybe isn't the worst. Boston's four for me. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes, the best place netrunner experience. Uh, the Randolph. Yeah, you gotta pull that one. Which day of the week again? Uh, event program program beans. Oh, Takobi actually would be huge. We should have drawn a Takobi by now. Uh, it depends. We don't really meet up. We used to be every Monday, but now they're just events. Uh, last one we had was like two weeks ago. It was on a Wednesday. NGO front. Ikawa. Okay, so we have to worry about punitive. They'd have to have double punitive. I think they have a consulting visit now. So double punitive might be possible. I think we died. I think we're dead. I think we're dead. The furthest I'll drive for anything is an hour. I'm British. Yeah, I don't own a car, so like if I go somewhere, it has to be like far, it has to be someone else drives. Still amazing that it happens, making me feel like encouraging these things getting set. It's pretty cool. Um it's 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 definitely pretty exciting. Uh, what's going on. But yeah, GNKs are good. I think there's a different one, another one coming out. Yeah, that's a good game. Beans! That was a huge swing. Like that was an NAPD contract. That was four credits on on the on the hit. And they're gonna they're gonna I think they're yeah, they have one more credit than they need. Yeah, that's consulting visitor for punitive. Honestly, we should have just not stole the agenda. This is a May. What were we thinking? Yeah, we can choose not to steal that. That was a totally a fuck up. Oof. We saw the consulting. Yeah, we shouldn't have stole that. Sup, like your shirt. Hey, thanks, one again. It's a, it's a cute sweater I found in a girlfriend's closet. It's uh, it's it's good. Got to call it good night, all. Thanks for stream. Hey, Baza, thanks for dropping by. Brittany, you can drive for more than an hour without getting wet. I don't think so. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't have stolen that. They would have just jammed in the remote, which would still be a problem, I think. But there's no reason to steal it there, especially because our money was uh, petering out. But without misdirection or without like really strong multi axes, I think we really need to play this deck in Adam and play like RNG key and play other stuff, uh, just so that we can keep rolling. Because our money is not good enough. Uh, like all we have for money now is like three Proco, Sure Gamble, and then Rizekis, and like those run out. The three one. 
sweater says Shapers for Soccer is almost there. Hey, Gentle Snow, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? What does the sweater say? Um, it says Corgi Convenience Store. And it just has like a bunch of... Yeah, there's a, there's a Corgi. There's a bunch of like cute Japanese stuff. Film Critic seems good. Yeah, Film Critic also would just be an easy way to, to deal with this. They're playing Mega Pre in this deck? That's wild. Why? It doesn't really do anything in this deck. So Mega Pre is a 3-1, which helps them with their agenda suite. But the thing is, like, if they score two of it, it does nothing. So I don't think it's the best. I think you might be better off just playing, uh, what's it called? Uh, domestic Sleepers. It's good here. Glad to see Never in a Stream. Always wanted to learn this. Have you, oh, have you not played at all? Domestic Sleepers, that makes sense. There you go. There you go. It's in there. It's 11 o'clock. I don't think we have time enough to put this in an Atom deck. So I think we might just want to net deck something online and play some Corp games. Um, cool, cool, cool. And we'll try that. It's not enough agenda points, though. That's only 18. I kind of like the one two-pointer, but it's actually pretty bad in a punitive deck. I think in a punitive deck, you would do just all three-pointers and play, like, 21 agenda points. No, I have the core set, but never cracked it open with anyone. Oh, dang! It's really good! Um, Jendal, if you're not aware of Jinteki.net, which is this website we're on, uh, you can play. If you are like newer to the game, you have a core set, you can build a lobby and just call it like new to the game, new to core set only, and people will generally join up and they're they're pretty good. They're, they'll they'll definitely help you out. Again, if you have any questions to ask, that's kind of why I'm here, so please do. Where are you playing from anyways? Cool. Eden. I also like these fragments. They're not gonna stay aligned too much longer and constructed, but they're really cool because you can now pull them out with uh that new yellow card? Not a great ginger test. No, I don't think so. Cool, thanks. Let me pick up some of the expansions before they get hard to find. They're already probably pretty hard to find, unfortunately. I think if you're really serious, the easiest way to get everything is probably to spend like the whatever couple hundred dollars to buy a full collection, which I don't know. Obviously, financial situations vary, but that's kind of a steal for how hard it is to get everything. But yeah, as Rob says, one of the biggest things, proxies are illegal at all events. So if you're cool with just printing stuff out, and then like cutting them up. Hey, cheers you too. Um, that's totally legal. If you want to play organized, which is really cool. There's also websites to help you with that. Proxy Nexus. Just this is a huge thing. Maybe for those who don't know it. Is that it? No. How do we find Proxy Nexus? Uh. Oh. Uh, it's a website that helps you print decks and uh, print Netrunner cards. If you want to go here, you put a cards and then it gives you a sheet, like a PDF you can print out. Try not to proxy, but it's a different case since the game isn't being published anymore, I suppose. Yeah, so it's it's hard. And that's why for like legal competitive events or just like organized play that Nisei is doing, they allow proxies just because it is very hard to find some cards. Specifically like this expansion pack that this card came from, it's like almost impossible to find. They just did a very small print run of it and then the game official support ended. So it's just kind of abysmal. I think Downfall is a decent set to start out. Yeah, it totally is. It's a really good addition to the core. And there's print and play online if you don't want to order cards from one of the, the websites that prints them for you. All right, let's go check some deck lists out and play some Corp real quick. We haven't played Corp on this channel in a minute. Um, and uh, I think that might be fun. Let's find something that's interesting at least. I think I'm just opening like Pollen and Argus decks and calling it interesting. This is just a, like a Blue Sun deck with Batty in it, which is okay. Pure Blue Sun. I think we played something like that last week. Actually, we did play Corp last week. Thanks. How do you? Oh, yeah, I actually didn't say hi. Hey, Blue Moose. How's it going? John, how are you doing? I got on the stream. <laughs> Yay. Way, welcome. We got an hour left and that was maybe 45 minutes, so we'll figure it out. So we saw SSO has been really good recently. Um, I'm not that excited to play it just because a lot of the decks are samey, but that's like true about everything. But at least when you play against Polina, you're more surprised what ice they res, right? Is it a Nancy? Is it a DNA tracker? I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, man, I don't know. The guy I've been playing Blue Sun the last tournament. Does anyone have a really cool Corp deck list that they'd be interested in uh, sharing or taking for a drive or tuning or any of that good stuff? Something with DARM and La Costa. You can score six. You can score six points. It's La Costa. I still haven't played La Costa. I think La Costa is a bit. Oh, you're Bacon Slayer. That makes sense. John Salier. Hey, good game, man. Now I get it. What do you mean I got on the stream? Super cool. 
DRM Lacosta Jumon. Yeah, that's the thing you can do. It's like you can score the six point if you DRM onto Lacosta, which is really fun. Uh, I don't know if there's any tricks. Imagine that you DRM like a, a psychic field. It's good. The internet NEH deck is a hot deck. This one right here. This is probably acid spam though. This is acid spam. People get upset against acid spam, so we don't really play it. But we should play some acid spam. Yeah, fuck it. We'll try it. Why don't we play some acids? Seems like a cool community we've got here. Yo, it's the best. I'm like super lucky. I gotta just like talk and play the game, and like really nice people come and hang out. So it's it's been fantastic. Uh, but again, if you're maybe new to the game, maybe you played other competitive card games, and like it's kind of an inside joke, or not even inside joke. It's kind of irony. That's not even the right word. It's kind of a meme at this point of like, ask any Netrunner person about how good the Netrunner community is and they'll go off for like a good 10 minutes, myself included. So uh, it, it's weird. It's very hard to pinpoint, but like the people that played this game, at least in my experience and most other people's, have been like the the, the kindest. So it's, it's, it's really great. Originated by NYC's own internet. He's a regular TO. Oh, really cool. I missed this flash screen. Yeah, I got you. Just play acid coin beef instead of acid spam. Yeah, I was talking the other day. I've never had spam. I think it's too late now. I'm not excited to have spam, but like, does it actually taste like meat? Yo, fuck it. We're, no, we're playing Acme. Acme got so much better because Angolo isn't around. Let's just find an old Acme deck. No, okay. Well, we said we'd play this. We'll play one of them. Daniel Luna also, how's it going? Hydra decks all the way? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, man. That's one of the like humps I can never get over playing IT department. Uh, NBN near Earth Hub? Or is it just near Earth Hub? It's just a near Earth Hub. It's NBN. The other one. There are kind of video games where good people seem to come together around it. Sometimes it just is. Yeah, sometimes it is just is, which is, I'm so lucky that it's a game that I like that that happened to, huh? Andre, how do you get to the Twitch front page to recruit tons of newbies? That's actually pretty difficult. You have to like make a deal with Twitch, but firstly, we have to be partnered. Um, we were offered a long time ago either partnership or associate status or whatever it is so that people could subscribe to this channel we could have emotes and all the good stuff but if i'm not mistaken multi-streaming to youtube and twitch at the same time is against terms of service like for that program so i didn't opt into that but like that's probably the first first step facing a acme without an ai breaker is painful but facing acme with an ai breaker also can be painful because you definitely need uh hunting grounds oh that's a corp deck we're gonna ask to spam someone it's gonna be gonna be terrible I'd be super excited though, and you know, Twitch doesn't do the worst job of doing front page. Uh, their front page carousel isn't as obvious as it used to be. Twitch has a huge issue when it comes to like highlighting content, because like if you go to the Twitch browse page, it like defaults to whatever is the most popular. So like the the like the disparity between the shrouds and the forsens and whatever, and the people that are streaming to like thirty people is huge. Like that's so hard to to get over. Um, obviously that's not the intention of this channel. It's just like a thing. I think they recently did updates to like recommend channels to you based off of like, oh, it's just called new deck, whatever. Um, they, they, they've been getting better at it, but um, yeah, it's probably not there yet. The thing is also like, it's a different experience. If you go into like Shroud's channel to watch him play Modern Warfare tonight and you want to have an interaction in any meaningful way with anybody, you're probably good luck. But if you come to somebody who's like streaming to four people, let alone 50, 100, you can actually communicate with people and people probably know your name. Dude, eat spam, masubi, just tastes like meat. It's just cured pork. Huh. What's masubi? One card game I picked up was Yomi because of fighting game tie-in. Got me interested in games of complete decks and asymmetry. I read actually, Shut Up and Sit Down recently did a review of a game called Combo Fighters. They did a video review that looks really cool. Uh, it's in pre-order. I think it was like a Kickstarter. And I'm, I'm going to pick that up when it comes in. I think Pat and I really want to play it. Uh, but they also did a review after it of um, of Yomi. Um, specifically because so many people told them, like, if you like Combo Fighters, try Yomi. And they uh, described why there was differences, why you'd like it. Looks really cool. The, the Dune review, Rob, was really good. They've been, like, cracking at some really good reviews lately. And it's not like they, they don't, but, like, the Dune review was fantastic. Also, gentle, just so you know, Yomi is like an archetype in Netrunner uh, that you might not know yet, but involves putting cards face down on the table. Are they agendas? Are they traps? It's really fun. I hate my friends enough to buy that one. <laughs> That's kind of what it is like, dude. Like, you have to look at everybody you play board games with and be like, yo, is this us? And like, sure, it's, I don't think I have that group of people. Actually, maybe I do. But like the majority of times when I play board games, it's not to play like a six hour, seven hour game where like if you fuck up the the complex 
systems in the first 10 minutes you're gonna have a bad day uh lately we've been playing trains i bought the last expansion for trains i like trains sakura arms is also nice nice but japan sakura arms is that food data warp is expensive to break yeah data warp is actually really good in this too i think acme has probably got way better the, the loss of angolo makes acme even much 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 better than anything else probably yeah, I think Combo Fighter looks... I'm I'm wondering when it's coming out. I only see pre-orders on different pages. The Mind is a good game, too. Yeah, I got The Mind, too. That's the sort of game that, like, we'll play before or after, like, games of Arkham Horror or something, like, just a warm-up game. Uh, we had really good experiences actually playing The Mind. It was, like, how many of us? There was, like... I hope I don't get this anecdote wrong. I think there was, like, six of us going to the Netrunner Worlds last year. And we were in the back of a not very busy plane going from like whatever uh, the big city in Minnesota is, Port Fort something, I don't know, uh, St. Paul, Twin Cities, hey Rob. Um, and we were in the back of the plane and we were playing the mind across the whole row because uh, you can play it silently. In fact, you have to play it silently. It was like the most fun. I think Skull is cool too, but I generally play Skull with like cards or coasters. I never care too much to play it with a... Uh, I haven't bought the set yet, but you probably should. It's pretty. Battlecon's great as well. Dual fighters to style. I'm, I haven't heard of that one too much. I think there's another one that also comes up a lot in the conversation. Oh, we're playing against 419, so expose is a thing. We can let them know there's an advanced assembly lines on the table. Early Amani is pretty good. We want something for HQ so we don't get doofed. I think that's probably a pretty good start. I don't know what the R&D pressure is. I'm missing the end of the mind anecdote. Uh, real quick. We played on the plane to Worlds Crossroads. Good time. It was a really good time. Worlds was a fantastic time. Unfortunately, not this year. Sculpted cards is good. You can play with up to 12 people. Yeah, I just do like what? Three numbers cards, one face card. Feels like I was there. <laughs> I really like Battlecom as well, but I'm not really a fan of the anime art and the game is so overwhelming. Yeah, that's what I, this seems to be the big difference. I'm really into the art that comes from uh, what's it called? Here, we'll just do a turn first. This is near your hub. You draw the first time you create a server. So we're not gonna pay a credit. They can see what this is. We'll pre-res it. They know what it is. A money on the table, pretty good. And oh, we do a daily business show. Ah, the daily business show is actually likely better. I didn't realize we drew it on the on the hit. We'll do a daily business show. We want to get that down early so we can control our draw. And then we got to ice up HQ so we don't get diversion of funds. Uh, so we're just going to ice up HQ with one of our better ice. Uh, and then we can use this on immediately, which we will now, before they do anything, to install a non-ice card into a new remote, which gives us a card draw. Uh, pay one credit to present exposing of this card. I honestly don't know how good our money is. No. So they know it's an Amani Sinai. Ken said whether I wanted you to win so my meta mate is humbled or Rob to win so some of the scariest decks my meta is humbled. Pretty good either way. Yeah, it is pretty good either way. We're not going to res here uh, just because Degree Mill, is, you can't steal it. We're not going to res Amani Sinai because they can't steal it. Hard hitting news. Ooh, we got it. Barnes & Noble had a sale on Keyforge. I got two players started and two additional decks for only $30. Yeah, I actually did try Keyforge a couple months ago. Uh, we picked up like two decks. Just We were picking up something else at uh, the board game store. And we picked up two decks and we learned to play. Oh, that sucks. We have to... We have to I think we have to pay five here. Uh, it was a pretty good time. It's like a game you can pick up. That's pretty cool. All right, they can't trash this. I don't know where our money is tied. Dick. Second mining accident, okay, you win this one. We'll res this just so we don't draw agendas. I honestly think we'd rather have the Marilyn. Uh, we need two credits to res this so we can install it. Is there turtle backs in this deck? Just gonna say. And they exposed it because we didn't have a credit. Doesn't even ask you, that's cute. And we're not gonna pre-res this because just in case we need a res the tour guide, I guess. Try playing on the version of JNet and people are not so nice. Oh, really? That sucks. They trashed the Rashida going in for another card. They're going to have to try and win off singles. We don't have that much ice. I honestly didn't look at the deck list too well. We're the Maryland. 
So their money's pretty bad. We do have the border control. Um, we also could hard hitting news them here. If we hard hitting news them, we keep the we keep the psychographics so we can score. Do we just hard hitting news them? JNet is crazy salty. Hey, Tsuzo, I haven't had that many problems on JNet. We could just hard hitting news them. Oh, that's really good. Okay, this is actually really good. We still can't steal the one agenda we did draw. All right, I think we'll still be able to, to hit him next turn. Uh, falsified credentials here for the expose would be pretty all right. Running archives. Hold on. Okay, so they're going to get another bad pub. That goes pretty far, actually. Oof. That's good tech. So we really have to start pressuring them. I think we hard hitting these of them here for sure. So we're gonna take these credits, the recurring credits, to res the turtle backs. This is our restricted card. We're gonna start our turn with three. Oh, we can add one card to the bottom. I think we want the tour guide. For uh, it's probably one of the better things we have. This builds a new remote server. Uh, we're not gonna prevent that. We have another tour guide, which is pretty sweet. Uh, we're weak to inside job. A lot of times the criminal decks are running two of them now because they're just that good. Uh, we can install this in a new remote and then we get hard hitting news. I don't think this needs to go anywhere important. That might be wrong, but whatever. Here's half some tags. I'm going to mirror these sentiments. I've stopped playing on Jada entirely because I think I've had one too many unpleasant experiences. You know what? There's a big chance that my experience is way different than all yours, just because I my name my my games are clearly labeled, and so people don't like, you know, aren't particularly uh, shitty. But that's really weird. I've seen you go to the lobby every once in a while. And you have people calling other people out, being like, "Hey, you you'd be nice to concede and stuff like that." But yeah, the majority of games are pretty pleasant. All right, so they know where this is. They can't steal it because they need to shuffle two installed cards, so they need to install cards. Uh, we lost our one good econ card. We have another team sponsorship, which could be pretty sweet. We actually could just start advancing this. I think don't think we need another daily business show. Put this in a new remote to draw. Uh, we can score this would fire the double team sponsorship would be pretty nutty i think we want to ice this one up for sure and just take a credit we honestly could let them have this uh just because of money sanai would trigger but it doesn't really do much late reply because monster hunter worlds at the same time but i really like the art of battle con devastation looks gorgeous also love the arjun consortium by them it's a totally different game honestly the whole doesn't initial draft class act resolve I installed? I assume so. Yeah, I'm pretty particular about the art in the kind of, like, not only card games, but like the stuff I'd want to surround myself with. That's falsified. That's an asset. It's a team sponsorship. We could have resed it, but they know two of these. So this is a team sponsorship. Looks like they're going to trash that. Luckily, we have a second one. Oh, they have two bad pub. They should just be trashing things all the time. And one psychic graphics is on the bottom of the deck, so we need to figure out a way to shuffle. We can shuffle with this Maryland campaign. We're losing two team sponsorships. That's so bad. We probably should have just iced one of these, because if once these are gone, it's so much harder for us to recur, because that's all the recursion in the deck. So we want to shuffle the Maryland. One card at the bottom. Uh, we could psycho this. So now scoring the 15 minutes isn't that important. We really just need to figure out a way to win. We'll just do a new remote for the credit. To advance, advance. Yeah, that's that's a really good play. It doesn't drop uninstalled. Rob drawing up again. One credit, two bad pubs. Dirty laundry here. Credit, dirty laundry is a pretty good start. They know what this is, mind you. We're not paying credits for exposed. We probably should. So this is an Amani Sanai. Uh, which they can trash if they want to. Or do we prevent it? No, I don't know why they ran that. Going HQ. I think we'll res it. This ends the run. It has three end the run subroutines. We have six cards. Throwing out an Amina. Not something you can really easily install. I do like the Jeeves a fair bit. Pay one credit to prevent the exposing of the installed card. No. Uh, yeah, fuck it, actually. All right, it gives us some stuff on the table. We can score it. We can score with Gs, which is most important, because then we can do something with the cards we draw for Rashida. Rashida. All right, that's our Mamba. 
We'll res this, we'll take the credits off of it just so that we can res the Jeeves. Wasting his time is good, but again, if you can trash the right things, things are good. Like trashing the team team sponsorships are the two most important things. So this is a Rashida. Uh, Rob is probably pretty happy to trash Rashida for free. With the, the two bad pub. Those early bad pub is so key. And now they're going to trash the temple. So again, they don't want to install anything because we're going to score the degree mill and get the bounce. Uh, I think we'll, yeah. So we're going to advance this three times. We're not going to chase with the money, Sanai. Unfortunately, our money kind of ran out here. We have an extra click. It's not particularly good. We'll just install this into server 9. Gives us enough credits to res the tour guide. And in theory, we can't score this this turn because we just don't have any money. But we can advance this four times if it's not just it stays on the table. Uh, we can not res here. Again, if they don't install anything, like this doesn't do anything. The Amani Sanai trace on stealing an agenda. But like, <laughs> there's a chance that just bad pub is good enough. So I'll res this. End the run. We'll do the, the fourth one. We have no money. So inside job here is pretty sweet. They don't have a credit. They have to do credit inside job. Uh, if they have fairy, they get through this pretty well, but that's a pretty rare card. Not in terms of like scarcity, but in terms of its appearance in the decks Rob plays, I guess. Trashing, this is good. We have no money. This is good. We want to trash that. It's, it's a good trash. All right, so now we just probably click to four. So we click three, G's kicks in, we click four. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Bob? Uh, Ben? Unfairy. Hey. All right, they really need to steal this agenda again. If they install something here, we'll probably bounce it. And then with this card, that's good. They're trashing all this stuff. They're really making us draw poorly. Is that with this, we can score a Beal out of hand. We'll score this to go down to zero. How's it going? I saw you were uploading the games from Worlds. I got to rewatch that stuff. Nostalgia is a bitch, huh? So we'll advance us four times. This puts us on game point. This is like the old Astro Script pilot programs back from the day. So this gives us a counter. No trace from money. Uh, this gives us the ability to, to, to have a counter. That we can fire a Beal and score a 3-2, or even a 3-1, which I don't think there are in the deck. Actually, i got to check what this deck is. Oh, we do have License Acquisition. So we can do 15 minutes in License Acquisition to win. Can't res here. They have to really lock us. They have to steal the Beals, which there are only three. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> that's one of them. So if we top deck that, we don't have the money, but, you know, that's the idea. I played the Gen Con games, which were ahead of those in queue. From Gen Con this year? Ben, you filled the Gen Con this year? Jen caught last year. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. All right. I don't want to draw here, I don't think. So we have a credit, so we can choose to use a res, the wraparound, or the Maryland campaign. I sort of just didn't have any energy for Netrun's videos. No, I feel you. It takes a lot of time to upload the thumbnail to do all the writing. Like, I understand Netrunner videos take a bit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, hold on. Oh, hey. Before you install the sucker, I'd res my Marilyn. Do you mind? So they would play this, which robs us from a credit. So before they play the 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 thing to actually prevent us from getting from losing the credits off of the corporate grant, we would in res our cards to ensure that we can get the money. So Rob should have waited there. Okay, so that's bad. We don't want that. Um, we do want a beal. So we need money. And these are really good because we can just snap res these. So it's. Uh, keeping two is fine. Checking the daily business show. Three credit Jeeves installs. Are you wasting credits? Oh, fuck me. I totally forgot Jeeves is there. Yeah, we're just wasting credits. We're leaving credits on the table. I totally forgot Jeeves is around. That was a really clumsy turn. We're going to pay for it. Yeah, we totally percent. Why not take three with Jeeves and install? Because oh, I forgot we had Jeeves. And that's actually really important. We should have more money than this. Uh, the question is, do we want to do uh, Daily Business Show or Marilyn? I'd rather do the Daily Business Show because there's a chance we can top deck uh, the Beal and win because we have enough money. We uh, Do we win? I think we win. Credit, install. Yeah, we win. Oh, we don't even need a credit. So 
So I'm just going to psycho for a three. We're not going to click for a credit. And we'll just move this over. Hey, good game. Yeah, we definitely fucked it up with the Jeeves. But you're trashing the good stuff. But like, that's how you play around in Mani Sana. You install nothing and they... I don't know if they almost got there. Rough Econ start, yeah. The bad pub was good. Yeah, if they had just opened even with like a, a sure gamble, they might not have got a hard hitting news. And that changes the game just a wee bit. Uh, I don't know if we have IP block. So like floating the tags only matters for the two psychographics, but psychographics was definitely a different win condition. Smart saving the psycho. I uh, just drew it. Uh, buried one earlier, but Maryland it out. Jackson, how's it going? Jesus still on table, don't forget. Oh, don't worry. I did. I totally did. Nice. Huge thanks to everyone producing never in content. It does sound like a lot of work. It is a fair bit of work. That's why I kind of like just doing this is like so minimal work for me, admittedly. Um, still, I hope it's okay. That's a good one. Do you like Marilyn? Hey, you too, man. Does Psycho get used more before hard hitting news release? Yeah, mid seasons, exactly mid seasons. Ow, I just scratched on my leg. Oh, there's a scab there. I should not have scratched where I was scratching. That was a mistake. Okay. All right. Uh, it's 1130. You know what? I'm not feeling great. I think I want a fair bit of sleep. So I think that's going to be it for me tonight. Uh, unfortunately, we will not be streaming next week. Um, I'm out on a holiday thing. Uh, we'll be back uh, the week following check out this weekend is actually it's um it's the finals for the for the nisei uh nisei uh what's it called um excuse me wow standard format tournament there was like 40 people playing give or take um so you can check that out i believe it's on sunday it might be on saturday i'm pretty sure it's on sunday uh dan is streaming on code marvelous so check that out i think it starts at like 10 maybe give or take um, we'll be back the week, week after the week, week after where we're back. will should be the first, like it should be the top of, um, what's it called of October. And normally Pat would be here. I think Pat won't be there. Pat will be at shut up and sit downs expo in, uh, Vancouver. I did not confirm with Pat cause I forgot that I was streaming, not streaming next week, what he wanted me to say about this. But basically, if you're at Chuck's, definitely go say hi to Pat. He would really like that. Um, I don't know if he is going to have Netrunner cards on him, but, um, he probably will. I can ask him. You can hit him. You can find him on Twitter if you really want to talk to him. If you really want to, if, if you want to get hold of Pat, you can uh, find him on Twitter. I think he should be pretty easy to find. Um, but Pat will be back on the tenth, so we'll be back on the third, uh, and we will do sometime soon. We'll try and do like a nice six to eight hour stream, whatever, on a weekend. So that'd be cool, huh? That's it. Thanks for the games, everyone. Thanks for hanging out. Keep being good and all that stuff. Shout out to all the new people we have in chat. Uh, again, also to all the people who have been around for a long time. That's really cool. Uh, that's it. See you in two weeks. Enjoy yourself. Bye.